I'm okay. going to say this right off the bat. It would be weird at first, but you would get used to it. Sorry, so that I'm would be something up. So you no, you're good. You're good. So that would be one of those things. Is that it? I I feel like it would start off kind of weird, but you would definitely get used to. It. What was it? If yeah. everything you eat talks to you, infinite cash, but everything you eat talks to you, which means it would probably be screaming as you were eating it. Uh. That's but yeah, that basically is sausage party's plot. I mean, sucks for you. I want the cash. I can deal with the guilt. I want, I want the yeah. That's what I mean. Is like, I it would be a weird at first because you know your food is kind of screaming and dying as you're eating it. But what if they the really enjoy time, being eaten? Would that be creepier? Like if they yeah, it would be. It actually time? would be creepier as if they enjoyed it because then it would turn into like a sexual thing. Are we going to react to horrible advertising? Yes, yes we are, but I was setting up my uh, thing for my back. Because somebody sent me a new massage thing for my back. I know how that sounds! Fuck you people! Ooh, feels good. Kinky McStinky. You're a fucking pervert. Yes, I am. And put that up there. Uh, we are not doing the Skittles fake, uh, the Skittles commercial or the Pop Rocks. That will get us fucking killed. The we'll Skittles commercial that. is fucking hilarious, though. I love the fact that that's actually real. Yeah, and the guy, the actual creator did ask that people don't re-upload it and stuff. So I, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So give me a minute to set this up, guys. I'm gonna, I can do this easily. It just takes me a moment. Why do I want to show my own eye to Mike? What the fuck? He already sees what I'm saying. So we'll try to leave the chat up because you guys give us money and you're awesome. Oh, you. okay. Orangina uh, ad. So yeah, let me just set this all up and then I'll put it to the screen. So we've never done anything like this really before. So it, there's going to be a little bit of, you know, figuring all this out for us. I got the right spot. And there won't be any ads, ironically. How's that look? Uh, I'll put that a little bit under. Oh, it looks okay for my end. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Just a smidgy widgy. There we go. So, I only watched this muted, so this will be my reaction with sound. Oh, I don't want oh, you to boy. see my mouse. Hold on. Oh, boy. I am a professional. Oh, oh gee. If you guys like this, we might do I always put a drop of Orangina in my washing. It gives my laundry this shiny what yellow color and, and a fresh orange Wait a minute. Why do you want your why do you special want your formula Orangina yellow? lifts the dirt and enhances the shine in just three days? Using Orangina gives me a clear skin confidence. Making oh, breakfast, I always give them Orangina. Why? Why? why is, and keeps uh, them okay. Comfortable all day long. No. Orangina. No! Donut Active Bear doesn't always have the time to take a shower. Please don't rape people. Strength and shine. This is a furry. Furry of Orangina. Furry. The shaving oh, I always God. use Orangina. Why is it shaving? It soothes my skin. Just love that fruity fresh Orangina feel Why is in my mouth. Why is it No. It's like no. I've never felt before. No! No! Actually, <laughs> section, <laughs> there's nothing better than Orangina. What Orangina. Naturally. What is wrong with you, people? Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Okay. I'm sorry. Hold the wait, fuck wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that was German, right? Yeah, it was, but that was an actual Why? goat. Stop fucking goats. Yeah, Don't Germany, do please do not fuck. Oh, it's too loud. Sorry. Do not fuck the goat. Do not oh. fuck the goat. Okay, that took I want to make a really left. bad. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm with you. That took a hard left turn at the end. That took a really hard left turn at the end. Why was there a cheetah in booty shorts washing a car? That's what I, I can't say it, but that's what I, I want to say. Okay, I'm gonna grab all of these different commercials, so bear with me. These are all ones that fans. Oh, you aren't yeah. Wells, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, you see that what was that was a hard one. The, the joke or the commercial? The commercial. This is Foster's. Let me know if it's too it's still too loud for you guys or not. Okay. 
I'm kind of dig this. Okay, we got the Grim Reaper. Oh, we got an owl. The barn owl. Feels like this is from like the 70s. Maybe 90s. Yeah, yeah. What? I don't it's get Australian. it. It's Australian humor. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's not a bad commercial, but again, it's kind of, it's for a different audience that used a different kind of humor. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm good on, uh, I've seen this one. I've seen flag. this one. What kind of Starburst did you just say? Berries. Berries? Berries and what else? And cream. Oh, oh. Berries and cream. Berries and cream. I've seen I'm this a little one. lad who loves berries and cream. I hate that I remember this commercial. Berries and cream. Berries and cream. Oh, I'm little Somebody little kick this guy in the dick. I think that's what they're thinking about. Stop singing about berries and cream. All right. Creamy. Delectable. Tango. I've heard about the Tango doll from Ashen. The heart. Oh, okay. What the hell? It's British. Oh my god. Why did you smack him with a hair? Call this number now. Ah. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was a weird one. Yeah, no, that one was weird. These are all fan picks, so we blame them for this guy. Maynard's original wine gums are filled with delicious, juicy flavor, just waiting to be set loose. All you've got to do. Wine gum? Does it get you drunk? I don't think so. I think it's Looks very Scottish. Yeah, no, it does. It is Scottish. Uh, yeah, oh, I was gonna say, yeah, no, there's a dancing back. <laughs> it's got Nessie. There's Nessie in the fucking... <laughs> in, this, in the aquarium. I kind of love the stop motion in this one, though. That's amusing. Yeah, it looks like, oh, it's uh, like uh, it's like Australian licorice. It's the, um, it's just their, their version of it. It's the same, it's just a chewy candy. That was cute. I like that one. They're gonna find more Tango ads? God. Are they... We can tell we have British Hi, people here. Gardner, spokesperson for Tango. This letter is from Sebastian Loys, a French exchange student. Sebastian says, I tried new blackcurrant tango and didn't enjoy it as much as tango's other flavors. Well, Sebastian, all I can say is sorry. We've done all we can. We try to provide satisfaction for all tango um, drinkers, even if you're only visiting our great nation. Is he going to get completely uh, naked? I hope not. My friend Jeff here has been working on BCT for time. three years. You're an exchange mm -hmm. student, aren't you, Sebastian? What is gonna go on? I don't like this. What's happening? Okay, he's getting naked. Oh my god, he's I was naked. kidding! He's getting naked. He's down to his oh underwear, Oh my god! People. He's rocking those, perp those pink uh, undies, though. Oh, Look at him go. Oh, he's going. Those are boxing shorts. Yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna, he's going out there to fucking beat the shit out of him. Is this he doesn't like Tango. Because doesn't like Tango. Look at him go! I want to see the fight! Come on, Freedom! Come oh, this is kind of awesome. I like this commercial. Okay. Watch out. Hopefully that wasn't you, Bay Bowl. What? They got a. <laughs> they got the actual Harriers. jets for that shit? The Harrier. Uh, it might have been B roll footage they just shoved in the background. Crush. Crush a TV ad. What? That one was cool. I like that one. Oh, I think I know who did this. Okay. I know exactly the animator who did this. I want some crusher. A little crusher. Milk it's what the fuck am I watching? What is this watching? I think I know the animator though. I can't remember his name.
You just killed that cow. What? I will crush her. What, what, I don't know what that what the fuck uh, is going on. The medical Robinson village on the bike crush apple and strawberry, apple and raspberry. Oh, uh, which runs did we just take? Apple strawberry, apple and raspberry, apple and black and orange, 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 is that one of those bison things from World of Warcraft? The UK is what weird. This reminds me of Yellow Submarine in all the most trippy ass ways. You guys just found a fucking list, didn't you? You fuckers just found a list. That's what you've been using. They're all English. More tango? tango? A lot of Tango ads. Tango has some good ads. I, I, yeah, no, I like that last one. I think we might use a video replay here. Super, bro. Let's do that. Let's go with the video replay. Yes, We're gonna see. We and it's a goal. Jungle, tis, sensation here. That, that is a. That is a. Fire, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Just laughing. Yes, bro. The big orange fellow running from the left, and he gives him what a good old What the fuck, man? This illustrates the bite and buzz. Oh, real oranges in Tango! Yes, Ralph. That guy's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, he is. You know where you've been tangoed. Is that like Tango's thing? Is just beating up? Apparently, like, I mean, I remember, um, they remember messing with Sasquatch. Those commercials were hilarious. Oh, they were. Okay, so this is a compilation. And I will say the beef jerky is actually very- Whoa! No, Dr. Mario. No, this no. can't be real. Dr. Amigo! Dr. Amigo! What are the symptoms? Why is it? Why is it? Why he is even Mario tries to Mexican? sound like Mario. Why is Mario Mexican? <laughs> That's a penicillin shot. Are you a real doctor? No. Does he actually go to each room like this? I, think I, I mean. Okay. I fucking I remember, remember these. This. I remember this. I remember the Quiznos ones. I hated these little bastards. Oh god, remember these commercials were everywhere. Yep, and then Quiznos bellied up. There is a guy. I in this wonder world. why. I feel like this is the first time someone used an internet person to do a commercial. That's what this was? I know, I feel like that's what it was, but I don't actually know. I mean, I can see it. Uh oh, what is this? I remember oh the Gershers commercials God, always being weird. Gushers. Yep, I remember these. Oh, yep, I remember this shit. This was some Willy Wonka shit. These fucking commercials were always weird, the Gushers ones. Is Gushers even still around, I wonder? Oh, they're still around. They're still around. I still see them when I go to Walmart. You know, the funny thing is I don't think I ever tried one. They're not bad. It's just gummies with, like, jelly in the middle. I always thought it was, like, the juice. No. Oh, oh God, Happy Meal used to do- He used to do some crazy- McDonald's, no. Wait, oh, I remember the- What the hell is wrong no, with- No, yeah. Sonic Sonic's No, that looks- That does look like Sonic Chew, you're right. And Emmy Dennis. Oh, my God. Oh, it was when McDonald's was doing little handheld game things. Yeah, I still have one of those, I'm pretty sure. I think I have the Shadow, Shadow one. Duck. Is it weird that the- the- um, How does the CGI, yeah. this was these were probably in the 2000s, How does the CGI look worse than the 90s? Because they put absolutely no money into it. This also sounds like a foreign ad. Brazilian, maybe? It's Monopoly Fortnite. Choose your skin. Drop no. I no. fucking refuse to believe this is real. It is real. It is Jesus. real. Or to start the battle. Hang on to your health and avoid the storm. Those guys you make so much fucking money off of that stupid Royale. game. Yeah, no, and I actually do know the dad. I swear to you, I, I, oh, I've I remember seen this, this commercial. Yeah, oh, baby's ice There's cream. Good reason for my glistening skin. And how this doesn't make me want to eat. I, this doesn't make me want to eat ice cream. I'm gonna put the donation so thing clean, higher so people can clear. donate and see it. This doesn't. This, oh, 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 he's eating his own brain. Yep. His brain is made out of I ice cream. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me The fact he makes feet. eye contact the I entire time and doesn't bust out laughing, you can tell he wants to. Activity. Look at his face, he job. wants to laugh. I love my this life. This is so fucked on so when many levels. When you eat 
little baby's ice cream. You'll wink and nod and I mean, hug to be honest, it looks like good ice cream. You other. know we're going to have to do more of these kind of streams, Mike. This is a special time. I'm going to turn you little up a little baby's bit. ice cream. Oh, this is creeping me the fuck Ice out. cream is a feeling. I, I don't want to see an ice cream man that's eating himself. Now all I can think of is if Frosty the Snowman was made out of Italian ice. I don't know if we're doing this whole thing. We'll look at one. Okay, this one. Again. Head on. Oh, Jesus. Do you remember Fuck this? you, head, head on, on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. I don't know who actually came up with this, but I will admit that is the most genius fucking simple marketing thing to do. Walgreens. Fuck you, Walgreens. From the makers of Head On. Introducing... No. need more than one pair of hands. Directly where it hurts. Active on arthritis. Available. It won't go away. Living with the little ones. Are they all turned? I took the family to their hot dogs. The swings. They're also British. You know what the stop motion looks like? The grommet and uh, the oh, wallet God. and grom grommet stuff. A little bit. And I need more than one pair of hands at bedtime. What are those? Today was a pulling. <laughs> New pepperami nibblers. They're little what bits the fuck, of an animal. Man? Uh, this little yeah, there's like something wrong with the this British is is This little piggy. Uh, oh. <laughs> New They're cannibals, goddammit. They're little bits of an animal. We're all connected in the great circle of life. Orange. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, we're connected. What? Why do they all have, and why do they all have light brights? Together. What? Oh, okay. But why? Oh, it's a, it's a kid's commercial. Okay, that uh, that, that one's kind of cute. Lunchables. In really shitty flash animation. Yep. <laughs> Give me your goddamn Lunchables, son. It's a really bad CGI. Is that thing an asshole dog? I, it looks like you're looking into a butthole, doesn't it? It looks like a loaf of bread with looks like a loaf of bread with an asshole on the front. And he looks like a sock human. What the fuck? What did you guys send? Have we lost viewers from this? I need to check. There's no way we gained viewers from this insanity. B okay. There was a time. Why is a baby rocky training while life. doing jump rope with a bra? What, uh, oh, oh, okay. Please don't go into abuse. This is getting weird. The softness of their skin got them all I their mean, mom's go, go attention. No, you were Did they want us to wear baby skin? Oh, please don't be abused. For the love of Christ, don't turn into fucking then, abuse. One day, fathers discovered a special weapon. Okay, thank God. Why? Shit. Why did I go Fuck dark with them. this shit? I don't know. I'm gonna shave so that I have the skin as fresh as a baby's ass. He said every guy that I know, when they shave their From face, now, they always look like a fucking and baby. Can fight on equal terms. The the men can now take revenge and win back their wives. What the fuck? What the hell? The baby is. Okay. This is amazing. This, this is, is stupid, course, but amazing. This is a Rocky montage. Yep. Except We're gonna get copyrights for this. Except for the ninja stuff. The animation is actually pretty good too. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on in this commercial? No. This baby is a their ninja. Moms back, there's no choice but. The worst part is the is animation's that... really fucking good too. Fight. Does that mean the baby's gonna start shaving its ass with the fucking razor? I need to see this fight. No, I need to see this fight. Uh, I mean, it's probably just gonna end with that guy punching that baby. Oh, hey, hi. I'm oh Dinger. no, I I've remember seen me. Just a oh, no, the no, toe fuck is coming. All I want is to get in here and live under your nail. You can't get me with well, clippers or the surface treatment you try on your own. Oh, no, 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 I remember this commercial. I fucking remember this, because somebody used to threaten to give me this as a kid. Oh, Lord. Isn't that the doll that pees? Mm-hmm. One of I my aunts that. asked if I wanted this as a kid, and I went, no, yeah, I it don't. Called? It's disgusting. What, what did it call? Peeing Polly or something? It's fun to help magic That's there is somebody in marketing that came up with this. Yep. Magic party, baby. 
That's gross on so many levels. Do you know how many pee dolls there actually are? Yeah, I, I remember several of them from advertisements when I was a kid. Again, with Oh God, the honeycomb thing! I forgot that existed. I forgot honeycomb existed. Okay, let's shoot the cereal. Honeycomb. I just gotta have that honey sweet. Oh, blend. I remember this yeah. part. Oh God, no, no! Beat, beat the mutants. They're like gremlins. They just put the poor midget out of a, out of a job. Honeycomb cereal. They might eat the midget. That's what man. Oh, now they gave him another job. I don't know how you do the it. car. Actually, I'm trying to get a job. deals. But this thing you pulled off. It's there amazing. is actually a story. A family a member of mine actually went dollar? head to head with him. How do you do it? What's your uh, secret? Over buying a company. It was fucking hilarious, apparently, what, she's, what they said to uh, throw him off. Got a buck? You're in luck. Because so I'm going to tell the story because it's tasty. fucking terrible. Chicken sandwich. So I had a family member who worked in certain fields. And it was like, you know, buying companies, selling companies, stuff like that. Well, apparently their company and Trump's company both wanted to buy a company. And they they had a meeting directly with Trump. And this was their first ever real dealing with him. And it was going really good. Now, the company they worked for was a very Jewish company. So and they couldn't throw him off with the deal and everything like he wasn't he, everything they were trying wasn't working. So my family member goes, Mr. Trump. Do you hate Jews? And it threw him off the rest of the meeting, which, of course, he doesn't. Um, but he was actually really fucking impressed by that because, you know, everyone had tried everything else and asked all different kinds. Because this was early 80s, all different kinds of things to kind of throw him off uh, during the meeting and stuff. And he was always on point with all of his remarks and stuff like that. Apparently that threw him off to no end. And of course he's not, he, d he doesn't hate Jews at all. It was just something to say to throw him off. And he like couldn't concentrate the rest of the meeting. So after the meeting, they met up in the elevator and he patted my family member in the back and he said, you are a real shark. You know that you need to be out of this. And he actually kept them taken out of the deal. <laughs> and then sent them flowers. Which was nice, but it was like one of those really funny things. Every time I see him, I just think of that story. And lots of your other favorites are McDonald's. McDonald's ad. That is kind of funny to me. He used to do like all different kinds of things. I remember he used to, because I remember they made a big deal about his cameo in Home Alone too, because they wanted to edit it out of the movie. Yeah, that was stupid. I forgot he had I, I, even he been just, in the movie, did, and it's like a two-second cameo. It literally is, yeah, because he because Macaulay Culkin goes into Trump Tower in New York and he just points out the elevator. That's all it is. Yeah, God forbid they ever find out that he was on a lot of WWE stuff. They'd have a heart attack. Oh God, no, they know about that because that was the one where the guy superimposed the CNN logo over the dude that kept hitting the chair. They they know that clip. Oh God. Yeah, no, it's that it's a real funny. story that actually happened. Yeah. Again, he's not, and I should state once again. He doesn't hate Jews. It was a joke to kind of lighten the tension and stuff and to kind of throw him off during the meeting. And it threw him, it actually threw him off. He wasn't expecting it because, you know, how they usually do these kinds of business meetings. They're, they'll throw quips at each other, but they're mainly serious. That was something he had never been asked, you know, until to be recently. On, to be honest, you can't do business in New York for as long as he did if you actually hate Jewish people. Exactly. Um, and the company that he was trying to, you know, out buy was an family jewish company like the whole group was by the way you're echoing again yeah i see that hang on yeah again he he sent the family member flowers and you know no hard feelings or anything and they they did actually work together a couple times after that too it was just one of those really funny things because they were it was one of those what can i say to throw him off before this whole deal starts and that's apparently what they asked All right. All righty. Oh, my God. Lying. Wait till you see oh, what the I next one this. is. I remember this. These still do pretty good commercials, too. I've seen one of the recent yeah. ones. Yeah, these are the Red Bull commercials are okay. Although I fucking hate Red Bull, because have you ever actually been near one of the flu talk things they do? Please, please, Mom, no. I really, really want to go to this Okay, so they club. do this thing called flu talk, or they used to. <laughs> I don't think they do it anymore. Man. And they don't, it's like um, where they, they, put, they put, hold on, let me find one. Red Bull gives you wings. 
that what it's called? So this is basically what it is. That's Mars attack. They they go and they, oh, yeah, they make I remember these... this. So yeah. I was at a party or I was at a convention and nearby because it was near the ocean, they had one of these, which wasn't much of a problem. But the whole thing is they don't sell Red Bull at this thing. They sell booze. Yeah, a lot of, of and they, they tried do. they tried putting it in the convention center, which pissed off the con. And then these guys started coming in piss ass drunk and attacked con goers. They actually broke several things in the con. They attacked several girls. I got my costume ripped by one of these assholes. It was it was a fucking nightmare. Like these I don't think they do it they allow booze anymore at these things, but it was insane. Like all you could smell was beer everywhere from this event. I was like I, I, I was like I didn't know I didn't know Red Bull was alcoholic. No, it is not. Although you can't Levy, mix it with Levy Roots reggae song. Isn't this the guy that just died? No, 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 actually no, he didn't just die. It was uh Bob Marley's grandson. Wow, really? Yep. Thirty one. Oh wow, he was young. Well, it was also his grandson, so... No, yeah, I'm saying his grandson was young. Do they know what he passed away from? Uh, I don't know if they said recently. It wasn't... I don't think it was drug-related. It was something to do with a health condition. Poor guy. I do like this commercial, though. I know this is probably CGI, but it looks like it'd be... It's really good stop motion if it is. It does, yeah, no. Also, this is... They're talking about... It's so nice with barbecue your and chicken. Jamaican barbecue, which Jamaican barbecue is awesome. It is. I can't lie, it is. Those motherfuckers know how to make good jerk chicken. They know how to make a, like, block party that is out of this world. Music in your food. So, uh, how much of the chat is left? Let's check. How the fuck do we still have that many people here? You people are crazy. <laughs> so the that. next one's a 1980s commercial so this might be the oldest one so KK. far Smith Square Crips your <laughs> crisps crips Not oh crisps. no i want to watch that Not commercial God, can oh, you get any more cockney than kid. that accent? Is that Prince Albert? In a can? Why is there a knife in your back? Because wanting that is more of the knife in the back than her uncle. Is it because you're afraid your husband's gonna kill you? I said, Herbert, stop making that racket and get yourself off down the shop. Oh God, it's every pun possible. Oh lord, there's a tank. Just out of nowhere, there's a tank. Okay. Fuck you, I'm I in mean... a tank. Some weird Japanese ones, bring it on. Oh, We're God. here. I'm glad you guys are enjoying tonight. And my Hi, I'm Gary. At the one oh no, this Gary's one's... Okay. Stay away from me, Gary. Really quick, I want to read the name of this one because you guys can't say it. see it. Racist commercial Gary's Mattresses. Please tell me this is now with locations in Koreatown and Little Tokyo. We are karate are chopping up prices. I just love you. This was just an early 90s. Like, <laughs> oh, I love this. Goodbye. That's all this was. I don't know. At Gary's Mattress, we're blowing up prices. <laughs> Man on horse. Oh, three minute Gary's mattress. I'd be very surprised. I don't know. I kind of like Gary. We're scoping. No, prices. Gary. Gary. Gary can go wrong. If you oh. find a mattress at a better the price, I'll take the pump Gary and needs punch to stay away from Just me. for like you. Gary this can't be real. Oh, it's California. Never mind. I believe it. Van Nuys, California. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ, man. Where do you people find... Why? Another crisp commercial. Singing Spuds. Okay, so this okay. is an 80s commercial. These potatoes are for the crisp makers. Ugh, here they won't come up. We're too good to be any old crisp. We wanna be <laughs> Miss Crisp. We wanna be <laughs> Miss Crisp. We're Sex sounds like intensify. Until we make you Someone had to think this up. Someone had to animate it and someone had to film it. I better phone Smith's. We wanna be Smith's crisps. That's when you stop being a farmer and you nuke the territory. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no, your your food shouldn't be singing to you. That's that's either a sign. All of right, we have another or... Smith's crisps one. Oh boy, okay. The British have invaded the chat. 1985. So we're getting a little bit more. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. Toodles, heel. He follows me everywhere, especially when I got a bag of Smith Square crisps. Well, they're not really crisps. They're more of a crunch than a crisp. What? Do you want one, Tiddles? Tiddles seems like a good boy. Never mind. Actually, Tiddles isn't really well, a dog. Are you, Tiddles? <laughs> yes. Smith Square crisps. The crisp. Is just crisp. everything in England made of acid? I mean, the 60s was a weird age. That was the 80s. Yeah, but it's still... The, eight, let me put it this way. 60s was the start of the journey. 70s Posted was the one, I'm the sorry. 80s was oh, the, no. 80s was the hangover. I like the chat just said I put Fire! Arson! Fire! Oh, Jesus, these uh, things again. These things again, yeah. Arson! Arson fire. What? New fire stick. It's a red hot pepperoni. Man, you'd eat that. Probably. Someone's gonna send us British food for you to eat during the next con. God fucking damn it. Why are you complaining? You like that stuff. Some of it. Oh, so this one's called Pepperami oh, Shouting Mascot. Right up, right up, right? Yeah, up. Where's that sound coming from? What did you eat? Send it off. Good dog. You killed the safe Did you eat myself? <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's terrible! Oh what the god, fuck? no! No! No, don't do that to the dog! What are you doing, man? Dear what god! The hell? Dear god, don't kick the dog! Don't kick the dog! It's Jesus. not a hack attack! This is an axle commercial! Okay! What the what fuck? The hell? Bro? That dog's dead! That dog is dead! <laughs> Why is he kicking the dog? <laughs> oh god, there's another one. These I guys think we need an adult. What are you doing around here? This is a smart neighborhood. No place for the likes of you. Says so. Says me. Come on, show us what you're made of. What are I made of? Oh. He's backing me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, God, there's more of them. What? This what is the it? last pepperami one we're doing. These things are fucking creepy. It is. Boy, come back and finish me up, you wimp. What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> pepperami. It's a bit of an animal. Hey, these are short. It is a bit of an animal. And the rest of it is harmful chemicals. Okay, so before I click the next one, sequel to the Sonic ad, okay. So some of these do have messages, I'll try to- what the fuck? Crash Bandicoot! Are we sure? Did they make a Crash Bandicoot? Okay, who sent this? That'll give us a clue of who this is. Okay, I- 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 This- this, this, this has to be- this looks like a Mexican ad. Those look terrible, it's, Jesus. It's, it's bad. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I need those faces. Please show me those faces again. Oh dear god. That's gonna be in your dreams tonight, children. They're coming for you. Is it weird that the cortex face creeps me out more than the crack one does? No, it is. It is absolutely freaky. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so this next one is I, it, it, the message is I had to listen to this ad every day when I was a teen so now you have to listen to it too that's unfortunate the sun is shining waking up sleepy heads let's get out of here. this is right before the guy shoots it with a poison thing that would be amazing oh god we're melting Oh god, they're swarming. Quickly! Is this just a knockoff of Honey Nut Cheerios? Is that Kellogg? So it just must be the UK. You're you're echoing again. Am I? Yeah, I don't know what's going on tonight. God damn it. We're not doing Wait. another fucking pepperoni. There are so many of those. There are. That's what they Rube's kids advert. Okay. 
This is a kid's advert? I'm sorry, wait a minute. What? Oh, God. What the? This is a kid's advert? Brooms? What the fuck is it? That that kid just decapitated that Cadbury motherfucker. Cadbury Caramel 1980. I feel like this one I have seen because of the animation. Cadbury. Cadbury hey, Mr. Oh. Beaver. Why are you being I have around? seen this one before. Fuck those things. <laughs> Haven't you heard of Cadbury's caramel? See, is the thick Cadbury's milk chocolate. People are going to want to fuck the bunny. Creamy caramel. You just have to take things really easy. <laughs> Looks like somebody you else. You my house, you son of a bitch. I'm going to kill you. Easy with Cadbury's caramel. Is it caramel or caramel? Fuck the bunny. Is it caramel or caramel? Let's see. Have that argument in the chat for me, please. Does anyone have that really racist Chinese ad? The oh, washing machine one? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I didn't know that one existed. Dear God, we're gonna go, get sued. Go, honey. Hi, honey bunny. What the? Okay, you have to see this one. This is real, by the way. Promise you 100% it is. Oh, okay. Why is he covered in... Oh, he was painting. What the? It what gets the? so much worse. Wait for it. I think I know what she's doing. Also, that man is dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's fucking up. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! The it's a real ass. Is that Chinese or Japanese? No, that's Chinese. That actually made a big fucking like. There was a huge issue with that when that hit the net. That is so funny. Oh my God! You watch put the black guy in the washing machine and he pops out as an Asian person. Mr. B. Oh, I remember. Okay, I know everyone's gonna want everyone. People have mentioned this one before. Okay, we can't play the music. It's a really good fucking commercial, but we really can't play the music very loud. I remember this commercial. This thing was like an international thing. And we watch the silverback over there as he tries to stay away. I wish I could play the music. I fucking do, guys, because I love this song, but... Is it Phil oh. Collins? Yes, it is. In the air tonight. It's a Why? really good fucking commercial. That's the worst part. Eh, fuck it. I'll take the copyright. Nah, 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 don't, don't. If it's gonna get you a copyright strike, don't, don't put that up there. I think there were, like, two of these ads, I think. It's a long what? fucking ad, though. I was about to say, you're just staring at a gorilla's face. All right, now we're finally getting the there backup. There it is, there it here. is. Do, 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 do. Just waiting for that drum solo. Wasn't he actually the drummer too, Phil Collins? Yes, he was the drummer. Well, and when he's singing the song, he's not drumming, but yes, he is the drummer for Genesis. They yeah, because I remember he, like, he I, there drum. was an interview where he said he didn't think he was a very good singer. He's a better he drummer. Always, he, he, yeah, he always considered himself a better drummer, but everybody in Genesis wanted him to sing, so he used to sing a lot of the songs. He didn't sing all of them, um, but he used to, but so whenever he, somebody else would sing, he would be on drums. What's the matter, Miko? What? Honey, what's the matter? You alright? You can't use my laptop. <laughs> He's sitting on the bed staring at me. What's wrong? Nico, go find Mama. Go on, go find. Go play with Mama. I'm not going over there and giving you a hug. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Talk to Mike. I have to go give a doggy a hug. Uh, okay, you get a hug. I love you. You get a hug. Please, huggle. You're gonna go to the ground. You fell. I'm dealing with a cat. I have a cat. Oh, cat is stupid. You're, you're a stupid cat. I'll be 
finishing up, so now I'll give you more attention. Good cat. I'm gonna wait a little longer, silly Billy. I'm not nice to say all these things about purity while she's distracted. What did I say exactly? You got fucked because I came back too soon, guys. Mm, apparently. Look what it tried. Look what it wants to play. Oh yeah, I I I noticed that immediately. I have that memorized. Kind of sad, man. What the fuck? I also had the parody memorized. I I the other this one I know the last one you sent. Nightmare Creator or Creator is um literally a joke commercial, but I will show both of these. Okay. I think both it's of these are. Day actually. At Omega Mart. Save on name brands like Omega Point. Now just yeah, it is. They're both fakes. Plausible deniability. <laughs> I'll take cool. that. And done. No time for it. You're done. Just two for ten dollars, or three uh, for seven dollars okay. when you spend Ooh, twenty dollars or more with a valid coupon. That's Limited useful. to one coupon that's per customer. <laughs> Price is good through what? December twelfth. See come in from? store for details. That's Omega Savings. As long as his that's hands Omega are not made out of paint. <laughs> nope, he's dead. You broke the game, man. I want deniable plausibility, please. You mean plausible deniability? Yes. This is an important message for customers who have recently purchased Omega Mart lemons. Some customers have confused Omega Mart lemons with lemons. For that, we're sorry. Please return this product to Omega Mart immediately. Or for assistance, please call the okay, number on the screen. That's for your not safety, normal. this product has been removed. Oh, there's a couple commercials of this so we can watch them. Disposed of. Holy Omega AIDS, Mart that is you not normal. You don't want to stab that. Let's it kill it. I like this Omega Mart place. Let's go there. I need to do some shopping. This Halloween, I think this is where they send they people really to eat them out of the jeans. Nut free salted peanuts. Now only Wait, what? It's just salt. <laughs> Wake up cleaning yep. spray. Now in fun size. <laughs> what? This week now in fun size. Plus, get Glorbox for just ten ninety nine. What? Oh no, no. last no. Glorbox I, I bought in the park. This is a real okay. people are saying this is an actual real place in uh Los Angeles. You know what? I would expect a place hey, in Los Angeles to sell nuclear thirsty. material. If we ever go there, we totally have. If we ever get to, to Las Vegas, cents. we have to go. You miss? Okay. Uh, ping me or ping me in, and I'll, I'll do it. Repost it. Plus, name brand salts, only sixty-seven cents. Oh Jesus! That's amazing. I love that. No. Just a uh, that that that's that's suicide. Pounds. But hurry, at yep, these prices, go. supplies won't last. <laughs> blew up the fucking toaster. I love this. I want to see this place. This place sounds awesome. That's not good. Don't we have a fire extinguisher? I celebrate the new year with savings. There's a ham. Like this honey glaze. And champagne. Oh no. Why does the ham float? That's a hookah. I don't think I want no. the ham. Oh, okay. it's a pig. It's a cute pig. Okay, if one of them was a mechanical spider pig. I don't want spider pig. Ah, fuck! He is angry. Bad pig. Have you tried Omega Mart brand orange drink? If you were a loved one, answered yes. It's not orange juice Omega because Mart's it doesn't actually have orange in it. It's like At tang. Um. I don't think. Uh, is to do that. Okay. It's an okay. interactive art exhibit place. Okay, that actually sounds cool. We gotta go to. Somebody's gotta bring us to Las Vegas. We gotta get famous and go to all different cons all over the world. I want. Oh yeah, it is a real place. Look. I want orange drank. I don't know with what orange drank does. I don't know. Let's look at nap time. I, I don't know. I have Tang. I haven't had Tang in years. I love Tang. Mom. Oh, I remember this. No, honey, you'll. I spoil fucking it. remember this. Hey, parents, tired of those out of control kids throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go, at the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. 
You've had it with parenting, but wait, there is a solution. Introducing Nap Time, the latest, most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. Is it's simple. Chloroform? Just douse a yes. rag with our patented Sleepy Time formula, place it over your child's crying yep, hole, press it for 8 to 12 <laughs> seconds, and it. presto, no more tantrum. I was beginning oh, to think adoption perfect. was the only Just way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to Nap Time. It's never been so quiet around here. It's nap time. The secret and lies that in nap time's that revolutionary fast asleep formula. Developed by military trained scientist doctors from NASA, nap time's powerful molecules <laughs> rush to the child's Why brain on contact, gently inducing instant oh tranquility. I think it would be the CIA. This is chloroform. <laughs> Already put those water training crap factories out on the street? That's okay. <laughs> nap time works in any situation. That's on good, the golf course. Great. <laughs> An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. <laughs> oh my! God. It even works on pets. After we had our first this child here, amazing. we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much. <laughs> Talk about defective. But thanks to nap time, our this little Samantha here terrible. hasn't made a noise in weeks. <laughs> oh god! I keep her in a shoebox. Call now and we'll send you your oh very God. own 24 ounce bottle of nap time solution <laughs> for only 23 amazing. easy payments <laughs> of $1.99. But wait, there's more. Act quickly and you'll also receive the all new Dream Sack absolutely free. Yeah. It's compact and portable for those on the go tantrums. Just cover oh it, tighten it, God. and forget about it. It's that simple. <laughs> yeah. So if this looks familiar. Is she pregnant? It's like a kidnapper. <laughs> then don't wait! Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying... Thanks, nap time. Thanks, Thanks nap time. Thanks, nap time. <laughs> nap time! <laughs> when they just won't shut up. Nap time is not legal in the following states. <laughs> All of them. I remember some, that. Some asshole there. called that number to try and get that. <laughs> Do you blame him? No, I don't. Let me see. Um, where is your zero mat? Uh, okay. Oh, we'll do God. a couple that more of these. These are That one money. was amazing. I... Matt, okay. what did you okay. send us? I don't need to watch Mike while he's doing lawn work. What am I watching? I don't know. Why are there sciences? Why, why do they have what? Okay. What? Okay. Lady. I couldn't you combine hotter men for this, please? Uh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, I need God. an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. What? Okay. What's happening here? <laughs> oh no. It's the reverse of the Japanese thing. Oh, oh my god. god! You know the machines that they sell you to yep. underwear? It's the same thing, yep. but with dad bod old guys. Matt wins. Matt fucking wins tonight, Matt's guys. That's fucking horrifying. It's a, oh god, it's an Asian woman at the end just smelling the shit out of it. What the fuck, man? All right, guys, let's see what else you got. That's a weird one. <laughs> All right, let's look at the sky yogurt from Flaming Croatian. Sky yogurt. <laughs> food, glorious food. Whoa! Yogurt. I wish I hadn't now, clicked this. Said, yogurt was never in my contract. <laughs> this tastes sensational. If my is spoon is doing that, I'm throwing it away. And ski delight. <laughs> mm, so thick, smooth, fine, oh, creamy. Now this oh, is the God. way yogurt should be. Let me yeah, like yogurt yogurt is is the way Australian yogurt should be. This is why we don't trust the Australians, guys. Just remember that. It's oh, I've seen. Experience. You want to see something fucked up? These are actual commercials for uh, mobile games. I've seen I, these when I play okay. mobile games. No, I've seen those too. Yeah. Fucking weird, right? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna sit on this washing machine here and get sexually No, this excited. one can't be real. What I the? don't believe this one is real. 
Okay. No, this is fake. But it's still okay. fun. Okay. They're all just getting off and sitting on washing machines. Okay. 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 I'm gonna get one of the next ones. Okay, somebody wants us to do Japanese commercials, so give me a second. Japanese commercials are kind of weird. So that'll work. Thing, Chris compilation. Creepy. What? Does anyone have like a compilation of Japanese commercials? Hold on, let me scroll up and see. Japan a man animation. We can't beat the Chinese one. Let's be serious. The Chinese one was just like really. That caused such a. Scene. And they hired the only black guy. In China. Oh no! Come on, mamma mia, per favore. What the fuck, man? I'm not opposed to this. I'm just saying. They all have the space. I'm not opposed to this. What the fuck am I watching? I don't know. Why does that man look so good in those shorts? I'm okay with this. What? Uh, it's a man that's made out of bananas. What in the hell, man? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is that Edward Scissor Hands' Asian brother, Edward Banana Hand? What? Uh, what? Okay. No, run. Run away from it. Run away from it. No. Nope. The demon. I needed to be away from me. No. No. Oh, fuck, man. I don't want them near me. It's oddly, it's oddly like <laughs> that face. Uh, Remember the Unstoppable Army question? We found it. That's a still. When they go back to the kid, it's a still. I know. Oh, I get it. Cupy because they're Cupy dolls. Oh, I didn't know God. those things were still around. I thought they died in the 70s. This is crazy. <laughs> Pyramid. No. Nope. Just explosion. Several explosions. More explosions. Fuck's running. Oh god, it's a man on a bike. Is that Power Rangers? Oh, no, it's, it's a Power joke Rangers. on Power Rangers. No, I like the chick is still the hot one. No what. The Red Ranger is a fat guy. We found a cosplay. No, you're not that fat. What the fuck? More of Banana Man. Of course, uh, girls want the banana. Banana Man is weird. He's turning the world into bananas. I'm sorry. What am I? I don't like. I don't like Kiwi. No! Anymore. No! No! Get that away from me! Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. What the uh, fuck am I, I watching? I don't, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, it, it, it's it's very creepy. I don't I know what. I kind of want to try them though. Are, are, are they chocolate with? It looks like they're chocolate with like almond. In Not it? the dog. Why is the dog still still doing weird things? Oh, uh, don't worry, kid. Someday you'll be able to. Oh, it's a shit man. Oh, oh, nice. I think he's gonna kill that guy. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> it's a yeah, fake yeah, dog, it's great. Have it. It's not really have it on Okay. I thought they were dog treats in the first one. Yeah, no, this is confusing. Men. Okay. <laughs> Somebody in the chat says that... this is proof that the radiation in Japan lingers. Is that uh he's spaghetti. making spaghetti? That's not that's not how you make spaghetti. It is in Japan. And I'm not opposed to this, by the way. I'm fine with this. And magic ramen. Make it look like good ramen. 
Why is it that whenever you have Japanese commercials, there is literally somebody screaming into the microphone by the end of it? That is a very good question. Does anyone have one more set for us? Banzai! We're not doing another Tango ad, damn it. Stop it. Stop God it. damn it, Mango Tango. Hmm. I need vitamin C infusion. Fine, you know what? I'll do it. Holy underwear. Oh, God. Well, one of those is one I know we've already seen. Jesus, yeah. fuck, it's back. Yeah we, just, yeah, we just watched that one. Part part is that song's probably going to be stuck in our heads. What? What? <laughs> Are you okay? No. Somebody please translate this shit for us. I don't know what the fuck I'm watching. It would probably make more sense if I actually had subtitles. Oh, hold on, I can make that better. I just thought of that. Yeah, no, we're about to- Oh, it won't let me do it. Fuck. They have the ones that- No, they don't. Because sometimes they have the automated, like the- that's a good still frame, by the way. It doesn't matter what I'm eating, I'm just eating it. Oh, I've seen that. I don't know what the fuck is going on in any of this. Yeah, but it looks banger. delicious. It looks delicious. Oh yeah, no, Japanese snacks usually are. Uh, if that actually has grapefruit in it and you got splashed in the face with it, your eyes would be on fire. Is that alcoholic seltzer? That's Bruce Willis! Is it? Yes, it is. You'd actually be surprised how many uh, actors speak Japanese. Uh, Mr. Willis, given your condition, I don't think you should be hitting your head. There's a really famous one from like the 80s with an actress that learned Japanese for a commercial and her song got so popular it actually made it as like number one in the church in Japan. I think I remember that. I can't remember who it was, though. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, too. Uh, okay, this is a different one. I thought that said F you for a minute. I jump in like a ninja. That's what we like to call a fuckhole, kids. I don't think you want to fuck that, though. You want to go for that one? Nope. No, Mike. Run. Run! The dog stealing your shit. Now you're swimming. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing now. I have no idea what this is. Uh, okay. You can do it. I believe in you. That's a crawler. Oh, it's gonna eat him. Oh, they're just eating each other. Okay. I was it's expecting adorable. that to end badly. Oh, oh this yeah, is a cute time. animation. It's anime. It's probably Disney. It, it is Disney. Yeah, I was about to say it's it, it's Japanese Disneyland. They actually do really good 2D animation commercials for Disney in Japan. Let's go to. We're gonna Disney have to right mute now. that music. I just realized yeah. what it is. Oh, that's probably a good, that's probably a good idea. I won't lie. Look, I actually want to visit Tokyo. Tokyo. Now with 100% more hentai. Mike, no. <laughs> oh god, Psyduck! We have to do the final one, though. I know, uh, we'll try and get it scheduled at some point. Nintendo? Okay. Hey, look, well, Snow I mean, went, on, went on a trip. Yeah, no, actually, that is a Japanese bobtail. It looks like you're a lot like her. <laughs> actually, that's almost exactly what she looks like. 
グラファイトチアガールグラッときてグラファイト告白グラファイト失恋グラファイト悲しみの雨グラファイト体温計グラファイト悲しみの雨グラグラファイト告白 Why are you happy? グラファイグラファイトデュエットグラファイト Apparently it brings people together? グラファイト父の反対グラファイトつまらないものですがグラファイト OK Why is he smoking one? ケーキ入刀ちなみにグラファイトは消しんです Drugs are bad, okay? 新登場です Uh, Don't eat graphite, kids. I used to know kids that used to eat graphite. Especially when, Especially when you had mechanical pencils. You realize it was just. Was that Godzilla? I think so. Okay, that's a lot of Godzilla. That Godzilla? Okay. I'm down with this. Um, oh god, it's a K pop ad. No, this is all Japanese. J -pop. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It, it doesn't, it's all the same. I know it's not for them, but it is for me. You just want to piss people off now. Hey, Alice. Look, Thank you for the look, gift. I, I already, I oh already god, Furbies. Them. Oh no, no, kill the Furbies. Murder those things. Were they that big in Japan? I mean, think about it. It's small, it's tiny, it's furry, it can very easily fit in a pocketbook, and it's creepy, so Japanese people would probably love it. Um, okay. I'm Goddamn actually impressed they all got the instinct dancing. Goddamn choreography. Do Except that dance. one dude, he just can't get it. Is that supposed to be spicy ramen? Is that what it is? I think so. Or it's just Japan being Japan. Because I don't really think you, unless you're doing dealing with something spicy, I don't really think you want skull and crossbones in your advertising. What the fuck? That man has a smartphone embedded on his arm. I'm not opposed what? to this. Oh, I just want to oh, know where oh. to buy him. Okay. That's no. a kappa. Oh, more fake Power Rangers. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, they're just chewy candies? That penguin is rocking out. Yeah, no, he's got the moves. He's got a Razor cell phone. They're making a comeback, you know. Really? Yeah, apparently they are. God, I just got a smartphone. You're not getting a Razor phone. Keep your damn smartphone. I'd rather have my old flip phone back. I don't know what's going on in half these commercials. Neither do I. Uh, I mean, I, I understand hating mannequins. So I, I, why is this kid in his underwear? Oh, so Drink your damn milk, kid. What the? F Chicken and... Chicken. Extra virgin, Extra virgin olive oil? Oil? Oh, okay, it's a chicken soup. Oh, Pocky. Oh, I remember Pocky. I know Pocky. We're gonna get copyrighted for this one, but I'll take it. It's just so damn Why are weird. there Yetis? Japan? The yetis are from Nepal. Japan. Is this what construction sites are like in Japan? Because this seems a lot more cheery than the United States. And a lot more choreographed. This is supposed to be Bruce Lee stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay with this. We need more commercials. He's, he's like literally this. doing the Bruce Lee post. He's also trying not to laugh. I mean, no. Does the food make you horny in your ears or your horniness? That was my idea, yeah. They're alive! Okay. Kawasaki Banzai. <laughs> Stop it, you're gonna get us in trouble. What, Scary Movie 4 did that before I did. Pocky had a co collab with Street Fighter recently? That's kind of awesome. You're really? confused. Welcome, so are we. Why is there a little, like, mushroom Don't person? pat his... I think he's trying Kick to him. rob him. Kick him. Why is he farting? Why is he... Okay. 
I don't know what the fuck went on there. I feel like this that's what we could be saying for the last few minutes. Okay, this is a, okay. Oh, that's pudding, yeah. This is a, um. Is this not? Oh, it's uh. Yeah. Plan. I've seen right. this commercial before. Oh, is it a Subaru commercial for Mario? Yes. They're they did Subaru. a uh, collab with uh, on like the game. No, no, no! You have to show the ending, damn it. No, they don't. There's like a sexy Mario and shit. There he is. Sexy Mario. Hell yeah. Goddamn Koopas. Goddamn Koopas. Yeah, they're kind of assholes. All right, hold on. So you want to need to show this one? Okay. We'll do a couple right. more. I'm so confused. We're watching weird ass commercials. Okay. This is a real commercial. Damn. There was some pressure in there. <laughs> it's okay. It's Where's okay. That Chris yeah, that's what he's going to look like in the new movie. Superman. So can you, without reading, oh, you can read my thing. I was going to say, can you guess what this is actually a commercial for? Uh... I don't know. Funeral home? No, it's stu it's stupider than that. Anti O. Wait, do you see? Wow. It? <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember that one from back then. I think it got banned. Um, I can kind of understand why. But it, it, it's kind of a weird one for that. We got a it's Japanese like... one we have to show. Oh boy. Sunday, Monday, oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday comes again. I don't know what any of this has to do with anything. Uh, uh, is, is he advertising in AC units? Yes, and also we just, we might have just found a gold mine. Oh boy. Let's see, what do we want to do? Live action Mario. Oh, do you oh. remember the... I oh, remember Golden Grand! That fucking bear. I remember that. My sip of Golden Crisp cereal with eight golden vitamins crisp. makes this nutritious breakfast really neat. I just love that sweet crispy wheat. Uh, oh, oh, what's up, Croc? I don't be bashful with that box for the bear. The bear the always hole won. in the bowl. Time for a vitamin pack punch. In case he bit off more than he could chew, I can't get enough of Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. I remember seeing these commercials actually in okay. my animation classes. They were actually a fun commercial series to study. Oh, Jesus, oh, the I fucking bear. remember Fuck this bear. Thing. I actually had a plushie of this thing when I was little. I think it's evil. Why is he evil? You've never seen the this, this skit they did of this? No, I have. I have. The skit they did of this is amazing. Also, it just looked creepy. I had a plushie of this thing. Burn it with fire. It's okay, Snuggle. Come on, he's a good little bear. You leave Snuggle alone. Snuggle, you're going in the wood chipper. No, no, protect Snuggle. Chat, help protect Snuggle. I had Snuggle in a D&D &D campaign once, and Cham blew him up. Yeah, he did. Except his name was Oswald. Oh, Jesus, do you remember Light Bright? Yes, I do remember Light Bright. I had one of these. I'm so pissed my aunt sold it. I love that thing so much. I remember I had one when I was a kid. Oh my god, I remember these things. These were so much fun to spend hours playing with. Oh yeah. No, especially if you had like a skip pound of little peg things. Colorful pegs that glow with light. Light bulb not included. Make people, animals, things. Light bulb not included, you filthy bastards. Because we're not going to put that in for 75 cents. Yeah, you can make lots of pretty pictures with light bright from Hasbro. Remember, did you ever have a, have a toy that said batteries included? I never did. 
I don't think any ever did until a couple of years ago. That Let's was see. all the thing that was like they always said batteries not included. Shouldn't we just assume that? We got we got uh, vintage commercials from the forties. Let's see how the 40s took this. Yes. Just waiting for my mother. Every time okay. I want to end it, I find cool and commercials. Anything. All right, Mama. I mean, it is that kind of neat that people have um, tried to keep these things around, like these old commercials and stuff. You don't listen to that Opie Griffith. He got you into trouble last time. You still Bitch, have yours? You... Man, they were so much fun. Bitch, are you stealing I'm out of my married. cooler? Wait, what's the matter? Nothing Didn't Easy Bake Ovens get recalled? My I don't know. How about Maybe. A bottle of Coca Cola. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tompkin. Have some Coca Cola. Hey, look, Still back ha- then when it wasn't creepy when an old man was giving a little kid a soda. Still has a lot of fresh cocaine in there. And that's why he's giving it to her. I mean, that was a cute oh, one. A new well, none of them back then would have been that creepy. Stick. It Super sticks stick better than bandage. any other bandage. Sticks better than any other bandage. Dry egg at room temperature. Fun fact, but Band-Aid is actually copyrighted. Bandage. Brand X, brand Y, brand Z. Not one stick. Now we have brand X, Y, Z. With new Super Stick sticks tight instantly. Watch it again in it slow motion. It sticks tight to your skin to make sure that Band-Aid stays on in any no weather pressure, condition. We can lift the and when it comes off, you are praying to God the from the pain. Strip never Just comes remember, in. don't put her on any Maybe hairy you spots, otherwise you might take off the first layer of skin. You a hairy man? You're fucked. Yeah, I would be. They take better care of little cuts and scratches. They stay put. Yes, even in hot, soapy dishwater. Neat, fresh-colored, almost invisible. Band-Aid plastic strips with new super sticks. So, yeah, Band-Aid is actually the name of a brand, not actually the name of the thing. And it's always been funny to me that we just call them all Band-Aids now. Remember, people, don't buy a dishwasher. Oh, my God, the Dodgers. Away with Dodger rookies or Sandlot youngsters. Pee-wee, you do a lot of work with boys. Not work, Al. I like (laughs) We do a lot of work with boys. (laughs) Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's gonna get taken that's out hor- of context. That's horrible, and that's where both of our fucking brains immediately <laughs> went. Baseball and kids. I enjoy helping teenagers start right. Well, that's around shaving age. Good to know. You give them pointers on personal appearance, too? Yes. Well, this commercial's getting worse, Mike. Clean shave. I tell him to use a Gillette razor, Al. Wow, Gillette was around in the 40s? The really? Super yeah. Razor. And yeah, today a there are three. Probably. Light for sensitive that. skin and most younger men. Regular for average skin and beard. Heavy for men who like the heft and feel of a heavier razor. Each is different, precisely engineered. One has the right blade edge exposure. Edge oh, and back when they actually used to have just one razor. Good-looking shaves you may never have had before. You, you didn't have to keep changing it out. You change blades and no, you didn't. Clean, no, well, you didn't. Choose your Gillette. You, you had to keep razor. changing out the actual razor blade, but it was only a Gillette single. You had to keep changing out the blade. Case. You kept the same thing. You had like uh, a safety razor case thing. Everybody needs Energy Pack Sunbeam bread. Wow, I didn't actually know Sunbeam was that old either. Yes, it's all yep. for fun in the park, but Junior hasn't got Let's have some fun in the, in the old he amusement sure park. Nowadays, this is deserted, and a bunch of kids got killed here in the 70s. Hey, they were getting killed in the 40s. At least they could hide it better. An exactly. Sunbeam sandwich. You bet every delicious slice and it's not made with an ass ton of sugar like today. Energy wallop. There's nothing like sunbeam That's not even a joke, everyone. Stay on the, beam. the bread? Yeah. Now look at them go. White bread back then was made with a lot less sugar than it is nowadays. On Sunbeam yeah. Energy, they sure do enjoy life. What Sunbeam? It's a it's a bread company. Kind of zip zip yeah, it's a bread brand. I've actually seen that mascot before. I don't know if it yes, still goes by the same name. Pack, Sunbeam Sunbeam's still around. It is. Long, I don't know if they still bread. use her, but I have seen them in stores recently. I was gonna say I feel like I've seen that mascot someplace else though. Ah, probably other company others. Yeah. Magical over Scottish tissue. There's no other Scotties. box of facial tissues like this. Scotties it's weird to see how old some of these box. brands actually old are. Scotties give you tissues Scotties that float tissues. up gently. One Remember, time, after your husband beats the shit out of you, you want Scotties tissues to absorb all that extra blood, tears, and Mike, no! Box. Only Scotties Magic Oval can give you <laughs> tissues that float up smooth what? and easy. No it's tugging, true, but come no on. Tearing, no <laughs> and Scotty's Magic Oval does even more. It lets you reach in for tissues by the handful, all neatly folded. Remember, Guys, when remember you in the 40s, this tissues. was a new invention, making Scotty's a fucking oval, oval, oval on the box. box. Pretty too. I can't say oval. And inside, right. soft, 
Strong, sneeze proof Scotties. Remember, Curse Furby stuff. No! Leave us alone with the Furby and come fucking out in monsters. Neatly folded handfuls. Remember, sneeze proof Scotty's tissue. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do the Ninja Turtle one after this. The only one of its kind. I kind of like the you know, 40s commercials. If you were to follow a busy doctor as he makes just... his daily Doctors rounds love long. smoking camel cigarettes. We're going to talk Remember about kids? the camel mascot? Time out for Remember, kids, hook them when they're young. usually means just long enough to enjoy a cigarette. And because they know what a pleasure it is to smoke a mild, good-tasting cigarette... This is back when you could smoke indoors. The brand they choose. And they thought smoking was good for you. National survey, no, if they knew smoking wasn't good for you, they were just paid to say it was. Doctors in all parts of the country were asked... They knew smoking caused cancer in the 20s. Smoke, doctor. Oh, does this... Again, you know what commercial we should do? Hold on. Camel. Yes, according to this... No, back when cigarette lighters and cars actually used to exist, I remember that, too. I was going to say, I remember the Flintstone ones. I think it was also Camel Cigarettes. No, this was Winston. Or, I was going to say, actually, that was, yeah, I was going to say it was the Camel Cigarettes. Because remember, guys, the Flintstones was for adults originally. originally. It wasn't a kid's cartoon. Let's go around back. Well, we can't see him. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. How's about we have a four-way with Betty and Wilma? Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure. That is a massive food. fucking Winston cigarette, considering uh, what. Specially selected Those women are gonna fucking kill him. They smoke a cigar. Yeah, I think in the show, good. actually, you see Fred smoke a cigar every so often. Maybe. In the, in the original, I should the say. The Flintstone! The Flintstone! Remember, Fred, Fred Flintstone only smokes Winston. That is really what it was uh, sponsored by back then, guys, for anyone who thinks it's a joke. Fred How do Bird they have knew the cigarettes. They won't be invented yet. Don't question Don't shit from the fucking Flintstones. Fred, burn me with lit cigarettes. They make me hot. See, we were in well, Canada, You were at Canada. number five, I think. Yeah. Hi. Kenzo the Creepy Clown. Okay. No, no, you don't live in my shoe. You get back in there, you bastard. I don't care, you stink clown. Sorry, you guys hear fireworks. If you want shoes with lots of pep, get kids, kids, kids. Or bounce and zoom in every step, get kids, kids. This is back before they thought clowns were creepy before Stephen King ruined that. No, they knew clowns were creepy. They were tough, they last a long, long while. It was like smoking, they knew. There's a pair of smart youngsters. Hi, Look, kids. buddy, if you stay out of my so shoes, uh, I'll, kids I'll, I'll kids do whatever you so want. So I can run okay. faster and jump farther. So I can win more often. Right. Always look for the label big and blue. You know, he is actually perfect size to punt. That spells out U.S. kids for you. Kids, kids, kids. And see a clown, like a little midget clown, like flying through the air. So be a champion. I need to show you the Nazi clown from that one product of United States rubber. Nazi clown. See these two Nazi portable radios? Clown, I should say. Well, watch this. That's Better a go, combination. RCA. Unbreakable Sorry, radio. Is RCA still? No, RCA has been long since dead. I haven't but, played it. Uh, Look at our new RCA Victor no, portable radio. Around. Came through without a chip. They used to make a lot of like Here's home the theater equipment too. They used to only make like sound equipment in the and television. So rugged, it's Stop the only real case with a five-year guarantee against chipping, Screw Furby. Furby is evil. Normal use. Of course, a two might jar oh, loose, but think of RKO that's radio. easy fixed. That's been long the important thing is... Yeah, RKO radio is not a I still have that book. Case book. Means Regional fucking no RKO chipping. radio promotional guide. No cracking. Like promotional book. No, no cracking. You can't have and it, Mike. hear that tone. Okay. It's RCA Victor's great golden throat sound. See the world's only portables with a non-breakable impact case as low as twenty-seven ninety-five. You have bullshit. At your RCA Victor Look at the doggo. The stare into the sauna. He doesn't get his master's voice. Hardy magic. Whiz bar. Graham of Indianapolis, all set to prove the hand is quicker than the eye. Watch closely now. You may want to mystify your friend. Oh, I know what this is. The straw, what the? He bends the straw and straightens the string. 
Next, he clips off the peak of the straw and throws it away. Now, he puts the straws together and pulls the string through. Presto, it's still in one piece. Believe it or not. Say, that's slick. Come on, tell us how you did it, Bob. Well, then at least tell us where we can learn tricks like that. Oh, right. this is one of those things on, where you folks, get a narrator and somebody well, who's silently nodding or doing something book. in the commercial. You can okay. get one for two Wiz wrappers and six cents in coin or stamps. Here's a special little book. Six cents. Six cents. Six cents. These are cheap little party energy. tricks you can do to get laid with drunk chicks. Only a nickel. Sold everywhere. Boy, it's good. Remember, get your party and magic stunts book by sending two Wiz wrappers and six cents in coin or stamps to Paul F. Bike Company, Department 1, Chicago. Full instructions on every around. quiz wrapper. Now I want, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna go get some oatmeal. Oh, it's Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. What's new, Hasbro? Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with their own cars and Oh yeah, Hasbro's That's wicked fucking old. See, Mr. Potato Head has a car and... Mr. Potato Head, back when you had to use an actual fucking potato. Mrs. Potato yeah, Head, supposed to get it's kids fun to, to do and so easy. And yet it's teaching like you to this. stick things Don't into it before you eat it, which is highly unsanitary. I know they made like a hot dog one and a bunch of others too. I know they made fun of it with the uh, Mr. Hanky one in South Park where you had to fish a piece of poo out of the toilet. People look different every time you make them. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with cars and trailers come in. Do you have Mr. Potato Head? Outside. No, I have a yam Where head. He's better than Mr. Potato Head. That shit's never going to catch on. With toy cosmetics and beautiful accessories. And my character. My character will be voiced by Don Rickles. Hasbro Yours won. Great toy. It's fun to play with Hasbro. That's actually kind of cute. I like that idea. You're a and then we got banned fucking cartoons. No. All right, so we're gonna do one more, and that's it. We're not doing Furby. Fuck you. Fine. If someone Furby. donates five bucks, we'll do Furby. <laughs> I have to. I paid for that thing. Furby. This is the one everyone wanted to show you. We're gonna get naked. Oh yeah. I think I saw this one earlier because somebody sent this. Yeah. Anybody want to see Turtle Dick? Right there, still pickled. Now every time you're gonna think of that, you're gonna think you're eating Raphael's cheese. Look, I've I've had enough. I can't hear the uh, I can't hear the the fuck. I can't hear the uh, the theme song anymore. Akbar ruined it for me. <laughs> Hold me a sec. Oh, I think I remember this fucking robot. Let's see, let's see some of these classic ones. There's Sam Sunbeam Bread. Yep. You're echoing again. God damn it. Fucking stupid. Pop out and pop back in. <laughs> Female clowns are fine. It's male clowns. Oh, there's a monsters ad. Look. Let me know when you're back. I'm I'm here. This is my father. He hangs pictures. I hear Eddie's voice. You dumbass. Helps mommy with the cleaning. Where does he get his go? From me. I lend him my Cheerios. Oh, look at little Daddy Butch. are the greatest thing since bat wings. <laughs> mommy says they give him protein and stuff. Give Cheerios? And he might play Does he really need to eat? Because he's undead. Big G, little O. Poor Butch. Go with Cheerios. We actually met him. For well, those did. that don't know, well, you weren't, I thought you were over there when I met him. No, I know I wasn't. I, I met him after that. I was out in the hall. I kind of felt bad he was all alone. He was I, so I, happy I, when I, I just, walked over. I just came in um, when you went to go see John Kassir. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that really. See a couple more. We gotta watch Batman. It's a Batman, Adam West, baby. What's the matter, Batman? It's rush hour in Gotham City and the Batmobile is big. That's not Adam West. I was gonna say that's not yes, Batman. It's not Fred Ward either. Bert. They're using the set. Bert Ward. Bert Ward, sorry. Fred Ward is in uh Tremors. That is 90s. God damn it! No, that might be 80s actually. That is I think that's 80s. 
It says it features Penguin. Why is Batman driving economy class? That is a very good question. Maybe he's in costume? In the costume? Why not? Is he just masquerading as like a birthday party Batman? Yep, there's Penguin. That might be the same one from the show. No, he would have been too old. It really? might be the same I mean, costume. Really? Because, I mean, the show was in the 60s, and this that was... This has got to be the 80s. Like, yeah, that's only 20 years. That's not that bad. Especially if it's an actor that hasn't been doing much. I'm not sure. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, the horrors of war. There you go. You'll enjoy this, since you like your beer. Beer, 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 beer. Early Budweiser commercial with Ed McMahon? This is the Oh African god, Valley. look at the quality too. Not in darkest Africa, but in sunny Florida. And what? to make things even more international, what? this is the balcony oh, of the I old Oh, I know exactly Swiss where you are too. The god damn. New show place overlooking this fantastic African game preserve. I know where you are. Bush Gardens in Tampa, yep. Florida. Yep. Fuck. Each year nearly 2 million New visitors to the brewery as guests of Anheuser-Busch. In fact, this is the largest tourist attraction in That's Florida. That's right, Budweiser used Here to you promote see what that can be place. seen only in a Budweiser brewery, Beechwood Aging. That's the exclusive Give me free beer and let me Budweiser watch gorillas throw well, poo at Budweiser. each other. Now, I think you actually used to do zebras, that at Budweiser. Even cheetahs like um, my friend Atari right here. Get a giraffe's that. eye view. Is that an ocelot? In comfort of a mile -long no, that was a cheetah. Fascinating African belt. Well, you're invited we actually have to see those all the here. sights and enjoy the hospitality. that place. That bud, that's beer. That voice. Look, I don't. I, I like regular Budweiser, but Bud Light tastes like piss. You want to watch Robot Monkeys? I don't mind Robot Monkeys. Does anybody else mind Robot Monkeys? Robot Monkeys are cool as long as they're not stabbing you. Or oh no, no, no! We 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 will do Robot Monkeys, but we have to do this first because it's got Robbie the robot. Nice. Oh, stop it. Oh, that's Robbie the Robot. That is the real and, one, too. And, and the Lost in Space Robot. Who I don't remember what its fucking name was. The Lost in Space Robot? Uh, I don't remember if it had a name. That's the actual Robbie the Robot, too. Yeah. I mean, they kept it around for a long time. You no, know, it's, uh, there's three of them. One of them's in, a, one is in the Smithsonian, one's at Warner Brothers, and I can't remember where the other one is. Because my friend that used to work at Warner used to take a lot of pictures with it. Dear God. Fresh? Oh God. Oh God. No. No. Stop reading them. Stop it. Oh Japan. I have so many valid questions. Isn't that always seem to happen? Yeah, but I don't think I'll ever get them answered. That's the problem. Why is it a oh robot? Oh my movie? god, Mighty Mouse! Oh, Mighty Mouse! I, I ever forgot about that. I forgot Mighty that existed. Mouse. I, forgot that I existed. know very few people that actually remember Mighty Mouse. Hey, Mighty Mouse! I remember the later iterations of Mighty Mouse. I've seen the original stuff. Wonderful! It's new power pots Here he comes to save the day. The Anybody got some rat poison? You mean like this? <laughs> You're fucking awful! Motherfuckers, you have an infestation right there. You you need to take it's care of that. It's Mighty Mouse. Are you really going to beat him? That's like Adam I mean, Ant. You're not going to win this battle. Here comes your very own I mean, of wonderful new power isn't that why Raid have jet cans? And boys and girls, so I can just keep like spraying him from far away and just, just drown him? I mean, I don't know if it'll work. Uh, also, do you, do you want a mouse running around on your toothbrush? I feel like that's highly unsanitary. I, I feel like they're going to steal that thing, actually. Maybe they're just helping him get his toothbrush ready. Do they, even, the fact that they're touching it is the disgusting part. It's not what they're doing to it. I mean, they're not fucking on it or shitting on it, but so, still. Nightmare wanted me to show this to you. And I have seen this before. Is work, is this is real, by the way. This is, this is how bad it's gotten. This is real. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, God, no. It's a waifu. 
Yep, this is an actual thing you can buy. Somebody's gonna eventually send this to me just to torture me. People are weird. Send it to me, I can probably sell it for good money. Does it strip for you as well? I imagine someone's already said it to do that. It literally texts you and says, have fun at work. Oh god, it's gonna be that it queen talks, of minute, girlfriend. Wait. It, it text talks you. to you? Yeah, it texts you. That's weird! Just imagine what happens if you get a real girlfriend and you have this thing, what it's going to do to her. I wonder... I wonder if it has like a setting where if it's a couple, it's like a guy and a chick. Can't wait. This, this is this is weird. I'm not what happens lie. when they have a couples fight? Does he just turn her off and unplug her? I mean, to be honest, that's kind of the best way to win that kind of a fight. Unless it can turn itself back on somehow. Somebody needs to turn this into a horror movie. I mean, it's a cute thing, but it's also it's really weird. creepy. It's weird. <laughs> Did you ever see, um, I never actually saw the movie, but I remember the premise for it. It was a movie with Joaquin Phoenix, it was called Her. Yeah, I remember hearing about it, I haven't seen it. It's a weird movie where Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with the Siri voice on his phone that, uh, that actually attains sentience somehow. Don't ask me how or why. Because fuck you, but that's what the, that's what this reminds me of. But this is real. Oh, is that an actual video of this goddamn? No, no this is a real thing. I ha I saw this thing when this was first being promoted. This is fucking real. People in like people were going nuts for this shit. That's, Look, that's you can see that's some strange. of it. That's strange. It's Don't kind of. It. I like the concept of it. I do like some of it because I would love to put some of the v our VTuber stuff like this. But at the same time, this fucking thing starts texting me. Where are you? I miss you. I love you. I'm gonna say it's just not working out. Don't stick your dick in it. Somebody's gonna try. We got an old they, Robocop. They, they, yeah, yeah. they can only try if they make a port big enough to stick a penis in. It's Japan. They've okay. already. Played. I know, but I'm just saying for the American export. Is that Robocop? It is Robocop. I it, that's Japanese Robo. That's Japanese Robocop. That motherfucker was not stopping. <laughs> Fuck you! I got places to go. People to see. God, that looks uncomfortable as fuck to be wearing on. I need to see the Robocop TV series. No, you don't. Is that bad? It's not. Your license, please. We didn't even try with that voice. Or the... I have a license to kill. No, it's worse. It's British. Oh, boy. Is Robocop now Robo Bobby? Oi, do you have a license for that gun? Oh, you got a license for that gun there, Governor. Wait, what? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to shoot you. Did they actually get Salvador Dali for a commercial? Maybe. I'd watch the shit out of that. Or they got the rights to him. Probably the rights to him. That's Although I know he was working with Disney on an animation that actually turned out beautiful when they finished it. Like, they finished it after he died. Whitey Ford and his new friend Salvador Dali always think that's them. actually him. They like our food, that, they like yep. our style, and they like to be on time. Thanks for flying, Brad. I love it. When you got it, okay. Love it. Tell him, Dali baby. I love Zola. Look, Dali baby. Did you ever hear the story of how he almost died? No. He was supposed to do. It was an art. Like it was a. Um, it was an art college, and uh, he was supposed to do, like, a presentation for a class, you know, um, and so he was a guest. And he comes in in, like, a diving suit, like an old, old diving suit. Except if you know anything about them, the air has to be pumped into them. Yes. He didn't have anyone pumping the air in. So the poor Genuine students idea. had to scramble to try to get him out of that thing, which is not very easy to do because he was suffocating. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. He lived. 
He was fucking crazy, and I love him. Let's see. We'll watch a couple more. Superman peanut butter commercial. Oh, no. Yes. Superman <laughs> ran peanut butter. He's using kryptonite to destroy his powers. Now you'll tell me why Superman peanut butter tastes this so is, good. That's the Luthor Never. from Legion of so Doom. So fresh roasted, yeah, that so is creamy, so, so yummy, that its secret would be mine. Oh, they actually mine. had Superman brand peanut butter, that's funny. I fucking want Superman oh, brand peanut butter. Just wait, Superman, I'll find out. DC, Superman fools, bring it butter. back. It's strength. I need to know the secret of it. Then he... Then he left Lex Luthor in that castle, and he died of starvation several weeks later after eating his own feet. Three months. We're gonna get more monsters today. Apparently, Dolly was also on What Smile. I saw that. Yeah. This, Can I just say I fucking love that car? At Marine Land. It is a and fun car. Riotous family of goofy ghouls. Invites you to join them on an unforgettable visit to the. I'm actually surprised Marine the movie was so city. fun, but it so needed another. It it needs another movie. It just kind of ends. I think it needs. I think it needs a cut of it that's in black and white. First of all, yes. I think if you. I think if you had that in black and white, it would very much add to the good part of the aesthetic. And. Uh, the first movie has some problems. Yeah, oh yeah, the, definitely. Some moments near the end, I feel like you probably could have cut out of that. There's moments that probably could have been cut out of that that weren't uh, really all that needed. But I like, I like most of it. The first two acts are really solid. Um, the third act, the ending is, is pretty good, um, and the, the house reveal and all that crap. I thought Cassandra Peterson was going to have a bigger role in it. I'd like to see if the she... commercials made her seem like she was the villain too. Yeah, so I figured, like, if, she, if they're gonna do it, like, if they do another one, that she'd be back. Okay, yeah, we saw that. This is, that that's, that's the one we watched before. I fucking love these old kinds of I'm things. I'm gonna lift this couch totally not on wires. How long have we been going? Okay, we can go with a couple more. You guys enjoying this? Oh, Lord. See, I see this name, and all I think of is it gonna turn into the Co Zodiac Killer? Because I'd watch the fuck out of that? Never gonna give you up. Oh, Jesus, do you remember? Have you ever seen these? Oh, the Raisinets? The Raisins, yeah. I do remember, yeah, the California Raisins. They even yeah. got their own movie, too. <laughs> like, special. Gotcha, these were yeah. fucking amazing, too, honestly, if you think about it. These were some genius commercials. These were some fucking amazing commercials. Some great marketing. Honey, are you playing with your food again? If my food was oh. doing that, then fuck yeah. Oh, if your have... food, if your food is is singing Marvin Gaye songs, there's there's some acid somewhere. Is that Ray Charles? Huh? Yes, it is. This is how I guess you fuck with a blind person. God, I remember these commercials, too. Dear these were God. a big fucking deal when I was younger. I do remember these, yeah. I remember that this was... I had a couple of figures, too, of this thing. I probably still have them in storage, too. <laughs> That's sweet. Again, this, is, this shows when they really were creative with marketing. These things got popular enough to have a fucking, like, couple of TV specials, I think. I mean, to be fair, so did the Geico Caveman, and we know how that went. Those failed. These things used to be shown, like, the, the special used to be shown time after time. The movie and shit. I never knew that it was a really they, they made a movie, and it was like, um, it was like a mockumentary type thing of how they got yeah. famous and shit. Hmm. And they got a surprising amount of well-known voices to be in it, and actors to, like, voice in it. Nice. Or grapevine in the pool this time. Uh, uh, kind of surprised the they can stop tour. using these things. Oh, oh Jesus, they're puppets. Motherfucker! I swear to God, I'm gonna go down there and shoot somebody. I think these things got a cartoon also. Oh boy! It looks like a pet rock. <laughs> yeah, jump in that car. Hardee's. I'm free. That was a Hardee's commercial. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is this is. Oh, I'm pretty fucking sure these things had a cartoon too. Oh Earth yeah, The Simpsons made fun of me. Oh fuck! That this is the. I remember this was a big deal. He skyrocketed to fame as the hardest working young snack in show business. Don't make the obvious joke, Mike. Don't he's do added it. a new wrinkle to his career. <laughs> Michael Raisin is debuting this summer as the newest member of the California Raisins. We caught up with a normally reclusive Michael backstage <laughs> for an exclusive. They did a bunch with Michael Jackson. Michael, what made a superstar like you I decide mean, to do this new California then. Raisin spot? I gave him a lot well, of makeup on the you face. Know, I used to hang out with the Raisin when I was really young. Man, we were green. Then the rest of the world finally discovered him. <laughs> Well, we sort of lost touch for a while. Then they called me and said, Hey, Mikey, you want to play too? It was a chance for me to do something really tasty. After all, I'm a California Raisin too. Showtime, Mr. Raisin! Oops, that's me. I mean, that's to be fair, raisin. you looked like some kind of an amorphous creature okay, later sure. on in life, so... Yeah, no. Michael Raisin will be appearing in concert at a theater near you, beginning today. Yeah, there were a cup. Yep, yeah, there's another one. That's the one I remember. This is the big one I remember. Not the making of, but I actually remember the commercial where he shows up. Oh, fuck me. That's a blast from the past. What the fuck is that? that I don't, is... I don't, I feel like that one might be racist. Let's, let's ignore it that one. It probably is, because it's old. Danny's. Yes. <laughs> Dancing butts. Let's see. Oh, dancing, yes, dancing yes, butts. yes, yes. God, this shit. This, I don't remember. Batman cookies. Oh, God. I want Batman cookies. Batman cookies. That looks nasty. It does. You ever, Have you ever seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, cakes? I don't know how that would. I, I don't know Hold how I on, feel I'll, about I'll that. get them. Give me a minute. I need to grab a thing of water. Go for it. Oh, where is it? Oh, what were the? There were snack cakes, right? I think they were called turtle cakes, but I can't remember the it fully. Um, I want to say they were called turtle cakes. These things. Oh my turtle pies. That's what they were called. Holy shit. That's what they were called. What hell are you showing me? These were fucking nasty beyond nasty, and we just kept eating them constantly because they were ninja fucking turtles. Welcome to the 80s. Fun. I, I'm not joking. These were fucking rancid. I hated these things as a kid, and I kept eating them. Because of prizes? Because I like turtles. Yep. I was not Yes, dumb. but you like eating turtles. Uh, I didn't even like vanilla. Fucking, why did I eat these things as a kid? I just, re I remember them too. They're a memory that's never gonna leave my head is this fucking thing. Also, that's probably why stickers. I probably turtle wanted soup. all the stickers. Turtle soup any good? You're an evil person. What? That, uh, your, your state is the one where they serve that. I had pet turtles. I don't eat turtle soup. And we have gator here that we eat. Yeah, I know. You have turtles, too. Don't eat the turtles. And why did you eat them, my mom asked? Because the stickers and the prizes and I was a fucking kid. You have to understand, when this shit was out, I had to have been very, very young. Oh my god, yes. Because marketing works very well on children. Let that sink in. We were eating things that were supposed to come out of the sewers. Yes. The only thing I think is really surprising to me, I've never seen a Ninja Turtles ad for pizza. No, there had to be one. I think there were ones during the first movie. There actually, no, Pizza Hut did one for the first movie. Because they were in the first movie as an advertising thing. Yeah, Pizza Hut. Yeah. That's Actually, the, the new games, if you get the physical editions, you get a free pizza. Hmm. I'm not clicking this. This scares me. 
<laughs> Peach of Crunchbacks? There it is. Yeah, this is the first movie. movie on video cassette. And when you buy the movie, you'll also get a free Pizza Hut coupon book yep. for $20 on some of your Pizza Hut and Pepsi yep. favorites. Sorry, bro. 20 minutes late. I have the physical of the game. I could I don't want to open it, but I can get a free pizza if I do. Yeah, no. There were, now I now I need to see this fucking creepy thing. There were there were so many. Jesus, why? <laughs> Well, I hate the turtles now. Thank you. I should show this to Akbar. Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on. Do you see the skull in the moon? Is it? It looks like it. Hmm. Oh, this is no, such a good save. Those are just marks. Those are just marks. Oh god, I hope this was after my time. But I feel like it wasn't. The turtles look like the 80s ones. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out what year this was. Does it say? 90s, okay. Ah, oh, we were dumb kids. Click it, you yeah. bloody heretics. I mean, to be fair, they were all half the time. You ever seen the, um, the Star Trek Ninja Turtles figures? No. So. They made uh, Universal Monsters and um, Star Trek figures. And Bosco has both collections. And they're incredibly rare now. I knew about the Universal Monster one. I didn't know about the... Before they did, you know, the newer Universal Monster. Yeah. Is Raph Scotty? Oh, let me see, actually. Because if we're doing this... Leo would be Kirk. I think they fucked it up, but I have to remember. Leo would be Kirk. Uh, Donnie would be Spock. Raphael would probably be Scotty. And Michelangelo would... Be a red shirt. I, <laughs> uh, I was going to say McCoy, I guess, if you're going to round out the yeah. top four. No, no, I just want this fucking picture. God damn it. Uh, I was Chief right. Chief Engineer about... Michelangelo, First Officer Donatello, Captain Leonardo, that's obvious. Medical Officer Raphael. What? 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 Why is Raphael the medical officer? That's the worst Isn't he the one, one that usually you... hurts people? Yes. That is. Is he just going to get that... really fucking drunk with bones? Because I could see that. I guess he just. I, I mean, I guess he just, you know, he hurts people and then he fixes them. I could see him getting drunk so, with. Uh... So that he can hurt them again. I could see him getting drunk with uh, with bones. I'm not going to lie. Also, Michelangelo is an engineer. That's actually scarier to me. Remember when they thought Scotty was a killer? Because oh, Michelangelo the one where, uh, was doing the stuff. The, Jack in... the, the one with the Jack the Ripper uh, thing inhabits uh, Piglet's head? Yes. Yes, I do remember the one where I'm Scotty was I'm just going to say okay. now that my, my new canon is that um, Michelangelo started working in engineering and it drove Scotty insane. I can see that. Y'all can write that however you want. If you want to do a mini comic or anything like that, just give us credit for this stupid shit. <laughs> Michelangelo is Scotty. April O'Neil is a horror? I don't. I think that was something that was just fan man. I don't think they ever actually made her. Eh, that would still work. Oh. I want this. I want that. Do Why that. is it Donnie, though? That should be Raphael. Donnie's who, not uh, funny. Who's who? So Mike. So Leo is uh, Leatherface. Oh, these are customized. I want. No, that's got to be Raphael. That's got to be my boy. You can't have him. What is he, Jason? Yes, you can't have him. No, he's mine. Damn it! Everyone, you know what? They can have Leo. Nobody wants Leo. Get a better look at that. Oh, Donnie oh. is Freddy Krueger. Michael Myers is... Of course, Mikey is Michael Myers. That I mean, that sense. one's kind of, yeah. Raph Voorhees, Leatherface Leo. They can have it him. Would, it would be odd if Leonardo was wearing a mask made out of human flesh. They missed the opportunity. You give him this mask, but you don't do it for him? They should have him wearing Splinter's face. 
Oh God. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> you know what? Give NECA time. They might actually be able to do that after the Universal Monsters one, since those are doing really well. Oh, God. Oh, and they gave him a little pumpkin, too. Look at that. It's Michael Myers. He's got a cute little pumpkin. That's terrible. I love it. That's actually a really good custom, too. That must have taken oh, a hell of a lot of work. I thought that was real, and I'm like, I missed one. All right. Uh... Right now at Taco Bell, you can collect free Batman cups. Right like now at Taco Bell, Bell you can collect all the Batman stuff before you grab your pants. All the free Batwing cups. Got the cups. And the Batwing. Four cups in all. Oh, this is not my Batman class. Every time you buy a Joke's on you, asshole. I still have that. I still have a complete collection of those things, and I know I'm pathetic. But I do. And they were actually really fucking nice. The movie sucked, but they were still really... No, that was a good movie, wasn't it? Was it... Or was that the shitty movie? I can't remember. Which, Which one, one did the glasses? What glasses? You've never seen oh. the... Oh, the, 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 one, uh, the one that you just showed me? Or the... No. That might have been Batman. Uh, that might have been Batman Forever, which was a terrible movie. Yeah. Yeah, um, those are actually really nice glasses, though. No joke. Actually, no, that might be Batman and Robin because there's. No, no it's yeah. Batman no, that's Forever. Batman Forever. Yeah, I see the Riddler thing. Yeah. They're fucking nice glasses, and I still have mine. That's the, the funny thing suck. about that. Well, that was what I say. The funny thing about that movie is the movie was basically designed around the toy line, the toy line was designed before the film. And they kept fucking with the poor director, and he got blamed for everything. Schumacher? Yeah, you never heard that interview before? That interview? I've heard a bit of that interview, but the other thing is, is that after this, he went and did bat. He went, came back and did Batman and Robin, which was even worse. Yeah, he was uh, contractually obli obligated to do both. He wanted to do them like like the '66 Batman because they they wanted cheesy for kids, so he was going to do it more like the '66 Batman, you know, so that it would be friendly for kids and it would be you know adults would like it well they kept fucking with him all throughout the process of both movies like they just kept fucking with him and changing things and this and that and adding things and taking things so it became a clusterfuck of a movie because a lot of the shit got like he would make a decision and the higher ups would change it so it's why both movies are such fucking clusterfucks is it's not what he wanted to do he wanted to do more of a 66, and everybody involved in the movies wanted that. Like, they, they all signed up for that. And then it just kept getting fucked with over and over and over again. And he got the yeah. whole blame for it. And he's like, no. Like, he couldn't say anything till the NDA. Apparently, the NDA was a long, for like, a fucking long-ass time, too, because they yeah, knew it was going to be a shit story. They used to, they used to sign NDAs for a while. I think his was might have been about 10 years at the time. As soon as that uh, thing fucking it, ended, he blasted the shit out of it. Well, that, I feel yeah, well, so the other bad thing, for him. Well, the other thing was is that he signed the end. I think the NDA was probably for both films, so it was ten years from the start of production on the first film that he couldn't say anything. But and he the, even said like he wanted to do the costume similar to the '66, and then they they added like he didn't add the bat nipples and that shit. That was all done by the higher ups and stuff. That is weird. That is weird. That would be an aesthetic choice that you would go with. Yeah, no, he said he really, really wanted that. to do 66 and, like, 66 stylization, you know, with a little bit of modernization. There was badass. There was, and everyone only talks about bat nipples. Yes. But these, I, I will and say, also, I do love these glasses. I still love you them. You know what the weirdest part of the whole thing was? Is they gave bat nipples to the guys, but not Alicia Silverstone. I feel like there's a version of her costume with it, and even, even Schumacher's like, no. No, I, this is the one thing I'm putting my foot down on. We're going to get in trouble for this one. Come on, you know you could see. No, no that's I the thing. Is I, I always assumed that the Joel Schumacher stuff in the movie was the bat nipples and stuff because Joel Schumacher was, uh, had a reputation around Hollywood for being basically a bad whore. Well, from what he said in the interview I read, he he didn't want to make it the way it was. He he originally went into it 66. All the actors that had signed up were like, fuck yeah, 66. So think about it. Most of them grew up with that. 
So they were like, yeah, yeah hell yeah. Is. And then it just yeah. got fucked with. And it's not the first time we've heard about Warner Brothers doing that. Look what happened with um, Tim Burton and others, and they're even doing it now. Uh, well, here's the thing, though, is that you have to remember about this in terms of the, regardless of what the studio or what Schumacher did, <laughs> the movie, even if he had done like a faithful 66 adaptation, that wasn't what Tim Burton did when he came yeah. in and did his movies. His The first movie is is based off of Killing Joke. Which is not a fun nineteen sixties well, Batman. He, he didn't want to. He didn't want to do. Um, he wanted to do something in that vein, not like you know exactly sixty. He wanted to do it where it would be, you know, it'd be funny for adults and for kids type of thing, which I can get. And I mean, I I hate to say it, but watching Batman Forever, there are parts of it that are that are kind of funny. But damn yeah. it, we got we missed out on the best Two Face. It it's probably my it's probably my least favorite out of those early Batman films, just because Batman and Robin is one of those films that's so bad it's hilarious, and also the the insane Arnold Schwarzenegger one liners, like all the insane crap that happens in that movie, it's amusing to watch from a so bad that it's good standpoint. But Batman Forever is bad enough where it's unenjoyable, but not bad enough where it's funny. So it, to me, to me, it's like it it has the least entertainment value out of those four films. Even though I think Batman and Robin is a worse movie, they were actually supposed to be doing a third movie too, and Batman and Robin killed that. I still wish we would have gotten the third Tim Burton movie. That was originally supposed to be Batman Forever, but they had uh, conflicts about it. And I think I remember when they were trying to work out stuff with Burton. I, I forget exactly what the situation was. So after Batman returned, there was some kind of an issue where he wasn't going to be able to come back and make that third movie. But he was also working on the Superman movie. He was starting to work on the Superman movie, yeah. But the thing is, they wanted that next Batman movie to be out within the next two years. So they they weren't going to wait around for him to finish Superman for him to come back and do Batman, which is why they aired it out to Joel Schumacher. But then you had the situation where they wanted to promote the toy line. So the toy, the toy line came before they actually wrote the script. They wrote the script around the toy line to showcase all the different toys. Um, that, which, which I will say this. I remember having toys from that movie as a kid because those things Damn. were fucking everywhere. So they succeeded at least in that respect. Um, the other thing that kind of happened there too was that the, the whole production of the movie when they were actually trying to do stuff like they, they basically, they threw out all of Tim Burton's notes that he wanted for the third film. They, they threw all that stuff to the wayside and they went forward with this other version that had been pieced together by Schumacher and a bunch of other random writing people that had come in to rework the script. So when they were trying to work things out with Burton, and I think this was in relation to the Superman movie, it was right around the time when Batman forever was coming out and Tim Burton fucking hated that movie. So that basically killed all the stuff that he was trying to do with Superman. Wrong person. Ignore that. Ignore what? The I'm. I meant to send that to somebody else. I didn't get an I'm. I just deleted it. That's why. Oh. I mean, it, it's... Either way, we do know that Warner does, like, fucking with stuff, so I'm not exactly yeah. surprised with anything. And here's the funnier thing, is one of the big things Warner had a problem with is they didn't think that Tim Burton's first few movies were kid-friendly. I saw those movies as a kid, and I was very young. You have to understand, I was born in 86, so I was still fairly young when those movies came out. I fucking adored Batman after those movies. Those are probably the first Batman things I ever got my hands on. So, like, Warner's... I'm not saying retarded, but they had poor War fucking judgment. Warner was more interested in selling uh, external merchandise for the films uh, rather than the story of the actual movies themselves. Well, Again, like, that was why. Like, the, think of the, the, especially like the penguins, like the the giant ducky, and that, was, that like, was in back. Hey. That was Batman Returns. Yeah, but I'm saying like for the first two movies, they considered both of them too adult for kids. But you look at the stuff in the movies, maybe not so much the first one, but definitely you, the second one, there was so much you, shit you could market. 
Well, no, but do you want to know why they chose to market more heavily in the third movie? It's because the, the toy sales for the second movie were not good. They didn't like them. It's so weird because, it, like, the giant duck, I remember wanting that thing as a kid and, like, the yep, little penguins. I remember the giant duck. They had the, the skidoo thing that Batman rides down, like, the sewer pipe. I still want the umbrella. Um, like, the penguin's umbrella. I yep. still want that thing even now as an adult. For for whatever reason, if I remember correctly, the toy sales for the second movie were not what they wanted, and that's why they went in a different direction with the third movie, and it was literally you know, only to sell toys. More than likely, they didn't market the toys well, too, because Warner has done that a lot. Like, remember Static Shark? Uh, Static Shock? Yeah, I do. That was one of their most popular cartoons, top of the time slots and stuff like that. Do you know yeah, why I it got canceled? It. Low toy sales. Yeah, you don't want to know why? Uh, no advertising? Yep. Figured. The, uh... Stupid, isn't it? That's literally why, is they wouldn't bring out toys. They they kept dragging their feet on the toy marketing, because um, Phil Lamar told me they kept dragging their feet on the, on the toy marketing. They were apprehensive. It was so much shit, even though it was like, it continuously got top of the ratings and stuff. But it got canceled because they were like, well, we can't market this. We can't make toys. Why can't you? Kids love this show. Why aren't you making toys? Why don't you talk about the real reasoning why, Warner? We know why the real reasoning was. We're just not going to say it. Warner was really fucking bad with marketing that, so it got canceled because they claimed they couldn't market toys for it. And the real reasoning was they didn't try. Yeah. I mean, uh, here's the weird thing about that, though, is that they did an amazing job marketing for the first Batman movie. They had everything fucking attached to that, from cereal to toys to uh, fucking memorabilia to clothing uh, to anything like that. They had so much marketing for that movie, and they made a buttload of money off of it. Um, and then they just fell off the map with the second one for whatever reason. I don't know because if there they was some probably kind of big thought, thing. oh, our first one was super popular. We don't have to do much marketing. Like this shit will sell itself. That's not how it works, and I guarantee you their marketing team was probably telling them. Because I know people who work in marketing, and they've said it. Like, the higher-ups and shit, they don't listen. If they have one thing that's popular, they'll think, oh, well, people like the first one. We don't really have to put more money into marketing. They'll like the second stuff. That's not how it works. People will be like, oh, okay. Like, again, I still want that damn umbrella. I want that damn umbrella. I know they made a... They actually made a usable umbrella of that, and I never got my hands on it. Well, yeah, no, they were just shit marketing back then. And, and then they marketed the hell out of Batman Forever. Like, damn, yep. I remember that marketing being everywhere. And oh, yeah. And hype for the movie, and then and you saw the movie, and you got sad. Exactly, but the only reason why the second one, why the next one got greenlit was because uh, the toy sales for the third one were amazing. Yes, Penguin bit someone's nose off. Again! Warner's excuse originally for getting rid of Burton was that the movies were too dark and kids didn't like them. I'm sorry, I was I, I know a bunch of people who were obviously kids during that and we were all like, fuck yeah, Batman. And you see the la you see Batman Forever and we're like, fuck, what is this? This is not Batman. What the fuck are we watching? Because remember, during that, that time we also had Batman the animated series, so we're all sitting around going, the fuck is this? If, if well, that was even the funnier thing because you wouldn't have had Batman the animated series if not for the Burton films. Yeah, those that's were why the, all the design work and stuff was based off that film. It's series. also where a lot of the music came from. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it was. It, it's one of those weird things to me that they they did it so good on some of the movies, but on some of them it was just god fucking awful. Let's ignore the um, marketing team, okay? But the, the other thing fail? too was. The other thing too that's funny about that is like, oh, we want you know you make the excuse, oh, we want to make it more kid friendly, we want to make it more kid friendly, and then you go to huh. what the reboot was after that, which was Batman Begins, which was made to be for adults. Bad movie, specifically. Uh, I, I like the I like the Nolan. I don't know world. why I fell asleep funny. watching that movie, but I did. You the only thing I really like... didn't like about the Nolan things and what really turned me off, and I even made fun of this when I went to the theater for the second movie's um, premiere. Was it The Voice? Yes. I literally, and I didn't know I had said it that loud. I go, does Batman need a lozenge? And the entire theater laughed, and I went, oh shit, they can hear me. The, see, here's the, here's the one thing that 
always kind of that is the one kind of sore spot in the Nolan films is the Batman voice for me. I mean, sometimes it works. I, I like the the segment in Batman Begins when he's uh, he's threatening the the corrupt cop there, and he has him on the roof, and he says, "I, I'll, I swear to God, I'm telling the truth. Don't swear to God. Swear to me." Like when he actually does the voice in that scene, it's not bad and it works. But because he does it all the time, and it sounds like he's gargling gravel, it it doesn't work all that well. And there were actually apparently. There was at least three or four different times on set where Christian Bale actually completely lost his voice. I'm not from surprised. Do, from doing that, and they actually had to stop filming for the day so he could actually rest his voice and he didn't blow out his vocal cords. Did you ever hear but, how those movies almost got Kevin Conroy fired? Uh, I think it was because, yeah, they wanted somebody who was closer to the Bale version. No, what happened was he was at a con. Uh, I actually did get this confirmed with him. Again, he was a very... Very nice man. Um, so people like to ask him to do, you know, the quotes from that movie a lot as Batman. Right, he didn't have a right, problem with doing it. Was... Somebody oh, had so recorded a him. panel. and had They tried beat... to sue him over that, didn't they? No, it wasn't that. What happened was somebody, there was a panel where, you know, you get to ask him questions at the Q&A. Somebody asked him what he thought of the Bale Batman. And he, you can find, I think, this online, Ooh. too. He was really nice about it. He said, I really like him as Batman. I just wish they had given him a little better voice direction. And remember, this guy has been Batman for a very long time. And I, I agreed with him. But the problem is, Warner got fucking rabidly mad. Because I think that was either... No, I think that was after the second movie. So the third movie hadn't come out. They were rabidly mad over that. And they told him, if you do any more lines from these movies as you're a Batman. And if you talk about... Not liking Christian Bale's voice as Batman anymore will fire you. So, yeah, and, it, you and I saw it live him. several times. There were people asking him to do those lines as, you know, their childhood Batman. And he, and he always looks really, he always looked really sad going, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Because, you know, he's terrified. He was terrified of losing his job, which I don't blame him. It was such bullshit because he was so nice about it too. And I, again, I think you can actually find this still online, this panel. He was so nice. He said, I really like Bale as Batman and as Bruce Wayne. I just wish somebody had given him better voice direction as Batman. Here's the thing that you got to remember about, especially if it's because, I mean, he, he's working for Warner Brothers, who is also making these movies. So even though he's not under an NDA for those films, he's not working on those movies. If those movies, which is make, which basically what at the time was keeping Warner Brothers superhero films afloat because that was before they did Man of Steel and any of that other shit. So the Batman movies were really the biggest thing that they had going at the time uh, for films. That that and some of the other Nolan films that were being Oh, I produced. know. No, I understand why. Well, it was just one of those that a lot of people got pissed over it. No, I, I agree with you. I think it's bullshit, and I agree with I agree with his interpretation of that. I think he should have gotten better voice uh, direction. But the other thing too is that it was so funny because the Snyder version of Batman was the first one that figured that out, where you just give him a voice modulator, like yeah. it still sounds fucking creepy, and it works, and it doesn't sound stupid, and the actor doesn't have to kill themselves because all of the voice modulation is done in post. Well, here's the thing people don't understand. You can do a Batman, because, um, again, Kevin Conroy, again, explained this. You can do a Batman voice, and I think it was probably the same panel, too. You can do a Batman voice without absolutely destroying your voice. You just have to know how to do a little bit lower of your voice for Batman. Like, if you listen to him as Bruce Wayne and you listen to him as Batman, the only difference is... A slight attitude change and a little bit deeper for Batman. And look at how much, like, for the cartoons, let's face it, those slight differences made a world of difference with the character. You can do that even as a live action one, but again, you have to get the right voice direction, and that's what he meant, is you don't have to basically kill your voice like Bale was doing. I think that's what he was trying to say, which was what he was saying. No, I, he, I, I agree with you. I, 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 think, I think you're right. That is what he's and saying. If, I was the, just if saying the actor can't do it, then yes, give him a voice changer. That's not a problem. But it, it's one of those that I, and again, everyone agreed. Warner was way too judgmental on that because I, I saw it live at conventions where people were begging him to do this line or that line and he can't do it because if it ever got back to Warner 
And it's like that for a lot of voice actors. If anyone thinks that's unfair, that's not the first time I've heard stories like that. Welcome to Hollywood, bitches. Right. All right, so let's do a couple more commercials. Um, so who likes Casper the Friendly Ghost and how I think he might have died? Right. Because this is called Casper the Friendly Ghost Safety <laughs> PSA. So we're going to find out how Casper died. The Did he get squished by a semi? Are we going to get actual animation? Oh my god, we're not. Nope, we're just going to get stills. Did Casper, don't walk in front of the school bus. Casper, no. Standing is dangerous. Obey your driver. He's trained to protect you. Hey, kid. How are you doing? That's so fucking weird that Casper was back for the Universal, uh, the Halloween Horror Nights. Keep your head and hands inside the bus Hi there, I'm Casper. Oh my god, the bus is haunted. <laughs> it would have been a funnier reaction. And in an emergency, help the smaller children Okay, um, he's a ghost. How is he gonna catch the little girl? Oh my god, Casper's an asshole. It could be, yes. Always cross the highway as instructed by your driver or school. I mean, yeah, this Check was, you know, this wasn't spirit. supposed to be. It makes it funnier now that we're pretty much sure that Casper just offed himself with a bus. Did he? One Asian Burger King commercial. We have to show that. So this is this is a Dick Tracy wish watch commercial. Tracy to kids. And I fucking love Dick Tracy. Tracy to kids. Come in, kids. Come in, kids. It's here at last. The new Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio that keeps you in constant touch with your That's body. That's kind of cool. Easy to work. Up antenna, switch on. I've seen this ad before. Talk button, and you yeah, this was, this was like the old, room old two-way radio. And even yep. house to house. I always no wanted one of those needed. watches that Dick Tracy has. Yet travel back and forth. Radio on the open road from one bike to another. I mean, God, you really have to yell at that thing, don't you? Dad, Dad, I found yep. a bear's cave. Yep. Be right down, son. Ain't no way it sounded like that back then. Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio. Can you hear me, Dad? I'm stuck in the well. Shut up, Timmy. You shut up too, Lassie, if you know what's good for you. Tom Hardy's Bane voice. I feel bad for Tom Hardy. I never saw the third movie. I Like I said, I'm not a fan of the Nolan movies. There was an official one? I fucking want that. Oh yeah, that well that was what that that commercial was for. Was no, for no, no, it didn't. That was just a circle. Let's see if we can actually get a picture Bite of it. It's like it's just a circle on their on their wrist. See, that thing was an actual fucking Dick Tracy watch. I fucking want that. I want this one. So here here's the thing with. I know you're not a fan of the Nolan movies, yeah. but I am. But the 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 thing with the Nolan movies is this: Batman Begins is a really good starter story. Dark Knight is a good middling ground. The problem is when Dark Knight Rises is kind of an amalgam of like three or four different Batman stories, and they don't mesh particularly well together. It's Nightfall with for Bane. Um, it's Dark Knight Returns a little bit. And uh, I forget what the third one is. The third one might be a little bit of something else, but... The problem is, is that those comics don't mesh very well. Like, if they had done, like, a pseudo-okay adaptation of Batman Returns, I think that would have been better. And I think they were originally thinking that they were going to be bringing Heath Ledger's Joker back before he passed away, yeah. before the first movie came out, or the, the second movie. Um, so, because originally they had had, in the spec scripts for three, they had had uh, some scenes with him at Arkham Asylum. But they ultimately removed those after Ledger passed away and just left his performance in Dark Knight, which I know a lot of people hate that Joker. Uh, at least a lot of people that I know hate that Joker. I love that Joker. Mm -hmm. um, Joaquin Phoenix is a is uh, a, about that level for me. Jack Nicholson's up there too. I do love his. Although I that still love the picture of someone giving him the uh... <laughs> poor Jack. Nicholson. <laughs> oh yeah, he looks like Dark he wants Knight. to punch that dude. Gives with the dark night. I wasn't in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got one, two, three, four more commercials. All right, let's, uh, let, let's, this let's one just looked creepy. Thing. This is a 50s Coca -Cola commercial. Coca-Cola bottle cap hat. There are times every day as you work or you play when a pause would be welcome to you. And it's then that you find the bright thought in your mind. 
Dad, can you Oh, Jesus, imagine that thing coming after you. Take the hammer to it. I can see why Coca Cola stopped using that. Stop. I don't want to feel like I'm on cocaine if there's not cocaine in the drink. Nothing. That is Nothing else gives you the looking. bracing He's sparkle and the bright little lift that's so delightful oh, yours. It and actually tastes cold better Coca -Cola. when it out of a glass bottle. Coke has a distinctive flavor all it's, its I like it when they actually no use sugar again. Ever succeeded in matching. Yeah, that's nice. No well, when they did the, the retro the ones, when they did the sugar ones, they brought back the glass world. bottles. If that thing comes after me for drinking Coke, I'm glad I'm never drinking Coke again. You like cocaine? No, sir. I like cocaine. That's the voice it fits. All right, so the next I'm one is hard. Incredible I'm Hulk thinking. Kid Power Commercial. Oh, God. This is I don't be like any. Oh, God. Oh, Hulk. my Lord. Help you from Kid Power. Race oh, my God. The animation is terrible. Anybody else remember the uh, the nineties incredible Hulk show for the late eighties? I I, I, I don't know why the Incredible Hulk was there. Yeah, I, I don't. But we have I'm another Hulk one. one. Advertisement for his shoes, Hulk Radio. Hulk radio the Incredible Hulk Radio Control. Okay. Oh, Jesus. With a radio transmitter. No, no, God back. left here long ago. Imagine that thing in the middle of the night coming after you. The Hulk radio control oh, figure is a full three and a half feet tall and made of soft, durable Your vinyl. Mom. Also available separately, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse as well as Space Marauder and Dracula. His Just out of nowhere, what? Dracula. What? Why? 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 I don't know. Why? Space Marauder? What the f- I'm just trying to figure out why Dracula's chilling Star here. Glow in the dark. The incredible I don't know. Hulk. Why is the Incredible Hulk here doing his best six million dollar man pose? Ah, he owed somebody money. So I don't know if you remember these, but the commercial I'm about to show you, there's a very good chance the storyboard was animated by Jack Kirby. So keep that in mind. Dear unholy God. Yep, he actually Under did the storyboards for these. Underoos. See, my friend's watching, and he's old enough to remember this shit. Because he's older than me. Aren't those just, aren't those just kids' underwear that you can shit in? Basically. Dukes of Hazard? I like the Batman one. So there's there one, one that actually had the, the Let me see if I can minute. find the one that I know for a fact Jack Kirby did. Wait a minute, does the, does the Dukes of Hazard one have, like, the Confederate flag on the ass or something? God, I hope so. So I that can tell you for an actual fact, I know for an exact fact, the, at, the storyboard for this was actually done by Jack Kirby. I have seen the storyboard in person yeah. as proof, and the funniest thing is on the side he actually wrote... Dear God, I'm drawing Wonder Woman spinning around with a little girl in underwear. Please help me. What am I doing with my life? I'm not joking. There's even a panel on my channel that talks about it. I don't blame him for that. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's underwear. Underwear. It's a real change of underwear. Damn straight. Okay, yeah, because they had the Wonder Woman 70s show. Mm -hmm. And Superman Shazam. has like. Shazam. I didn't know they had Shazam. Wait, were they actually calling him Shazam back then? What? what oh, wait a minute. They're all DC, and then Spider Man shows up. Spider Man didn't know where he belonged that day. Apparently. Yeah, I guess they were. Aquaman, and then Spider Man just kind of randomly hanging out. Look, he's Spider Man. Everyone accepts him. They know he's a poor bastard who's just gonna get tortured by his editor. I know. It's just kind of weird to me. Like, for all the I just like that some dumb kid got Aquaman. Look, I'm the cool one. I got Aquaman. Why is everyone laughing at me? Aquaman's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, basically. Go for the Jason Momoa one. He'll fucking kill you. Yeah, see, there's some of it, too. There's, wow. Yeah. That's a 16 millimeter. Wait, That's Minerva. actually kind of amazing. It's something new. It's underoos. It's a real change of underwear. Supergirl. Where 
Yeah. Going under rules is fun. That's Archie. And you can choose from more yep. than one. There's a round of Once again, the anime. The... Wonder Woman, Supergirl, which one are you? Damn, Supergirl had it going on back then with that outfit. Yeah, that's definitely that pussy, like, uh, like 1970s, like, pirate shirt type thing. I'm, I think they're actually trying to bring these things back, too, for adults now. As adult diapers? Oh, hold on, I swear to God I've seen these recently. I do, God. I'm gonna regret this search. No, oh. I was right! Yeah, this is a fucking thing again, for some reason. Captain America. Here's your Star Wars. You either get to be Boba Fett or a rebel pilot. Let it sink in, everybody. Shaolin, you're old enough. You probably remember this shit. Goddamn He-Man. So I think... I think we might have hit the... Let, let's do another quick search, but I think we might have hit our thing for tonight. Okay, I don't think we is. can beat Underoos. Underoos is pretty, is pretty bad. You remember Mr. Bubble? A little bit. Is that the Scrubbing Bubbles guy? Oh, it's the bubble bath. Take a bath with Mr. Bubble. He'll get you so clean your mother won't know you. And Mr. Bubble leaves the oh. whole bathtub with <laughs> That was probably not a good... Look at you so clean one. your mother won't know you. Does your mother normally know you as filthy? I guess? Is your mother Mr. Magoo's wife? Uh, looks like it. Do you guys like that in one ear? Make you feeling good, everyone? That actually was their marketing for a while. Why, though? What are you doing in Hubert's tub? Oh, you're a nuisance. Hubert. Now, Hubert, I expect to find you in that tub with Mr. Bubble. Kids is going to torture this woman. Who do you do? A man. There's a man in the bathtub. You left him in the tub. This is why we let Mr. Bubble die and popped him. like that. Sometimes maybe marketing should have been stopped. It's because eventually that kid just died in the bathtub. Ed Sullivan. Oh God. The Ed Sullivan Show, everybody. It's where the Beatles premiered. Disneyland is oh, really Jesus. a world all its own. And he hated the Beatles. A wonderful place to have fun. And a wonderful that place to an take pictures. Show. But so is the place where you plan to spend your vacation. Yeah, summer. A studio mandate for him. Wherever it may be, plan to save all the enjoyment. Relive your entire summer in big, clear, colorful movies. And it's easier than ever with this new brownie God, automatic look at that movie camera. camera. I actually like uh, that camera. Those are one of those exposed all day no one did I have one of those yep. in my collection now. Yeah, my, uh, uh, my dad river still Disneyland, has one of the old ones. The light changes got every inch of the way. Of my but you get every each new scene correctly cameras. exposed with a brownie I mean, automatic. everybody had one of those. Because it has an electric eye that changes your lens setting for you. So, whether you're in bright sunlight or in deep shade, or whatever your light, you get the correct exposure. Even if the light changes while you're actually shooting. And what's more, you're always ready with a brownie automatic when the unexpected happens. Look! Now, you get back down the water there, let the bell. I was able to get those three you get back down there. Up there. Get you a ham next the time. The hippo in the sun, a guide in the deep shade, and then back to Still Mr. All Hippo. Hunched over looking. The Brownie automatic movie camera is yours for seventy-four. Ed, Sull Ed Sullivan lived yeah, on that was actually seven fifty down. Other Brownie oh, movie cameras down. start as low as thirty-two fifty. Why not start this summer to save all your good times with a movie camera by Kodak? Remember, wherever you are and whatever you do, fun's more fun when you save it in movies. 75 bucks. That was actually pretty expensive back then. Yeah, that would have been. That would probably. Nowadays, that probably would have been like 300 bucks. Let's see. We'll do maybe one. You want to do one or two more? I'm good with it. I can care less. I'm going to hop up. Every time I want to end, we just keep finding more old commercials. Let me see how the recording's going. Okay. This will be a long one.
Trix commercial. Trix cereal. You get out of here, you piece of shit rabbit. We'll do a Trix commercial. Nobody liked the fucking rabbit. Japanese Transformers commercial. Fuck yes. Oh, oh my yes. god. No, no, no. We don't need to traumatize them with more clowns. Clown, We're going to have to do another clown, stream of this. Hell. You know that, right? Go to hell, Ronnie. What the fuck did I find? Campy the Wheaties Lion. No. Uh, I didn't know that existed. I think we'll do we'll do three more commercials and we'll do another stream of this if you guys really enjoy this. Trick cereal. Who want to see that fucking rabbit win? Fuck those kids. You, you get back in your box, you son of a bitch. I always wonder why they never gave it to the rabbit. Oh, he seems asshole -ish. Because if the rabbit ever actually gets the tricks, then the seventh seal of hell will open and the apocalypse will begin. You know, I'm okay with this. It's giving me these tricks. I always felt I like the, the joke rabbit. version they did on Family Guy where he was, he was supposed to be, like, Asian and he just killed all the kids with ninja moves and took the tricks. It was the smartest thing to do. Transformers! Of course, you're in the chat. Probably had a few of these when we were a kid. Oh, that was, um, Fortress Maximus. Okay, wait a minute. We need to go back for a second. What the fuck was that? That doesn't seem a little racist at all. What the fuck was... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have drawn the lips like that. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that looks a little bad. The ears, too, I actually. Ultra Magnus, I thought. Okay, you might... No, I might have gotten it wrong. Oof. I can't remember. There Japan, were a couple no. of Ultra Magnus. No. Uh, yeah, I think there are Trix ads. Well, you guys can find more and put them in the uh, Discord. Oh. We'll find a spot for them. Yeah, this was Beast Wars 2. We don't talk about this in America. This was fucking weird. Opera Prime was a lion. This was a weird series. I never this saw this. This is what this happens book. when Japan tried to do Beast Wars. Because Beast Wars was actually American. Right. I didn't, uh, I didn't see Beast Wars 2. No one in America did. No one in America well, did. I remember they did that sequel series, it was called Beast Machines. That everybody was, that was on the writing staff and the fucking voice actors apparently didn't want to do it. Yeah, probably because they had already done three seasons of Beast Wars and it ended on a pretty good note. Yeah, so, we don't... We didn't get, we didn't get Beast Wars 2 in America, because there's a god in this world. It's a really, <laughs> how to put this, it is, um, it's Japanese. Here's the thing, I don't view it as there being a god in the world, I just view it as the devil missing opportunity. It's Japanese. Which means it's basically just on acid yes. the whole time. My friend knows it better than I have. He's literally watched all the uh, Japanese shit and everything. Um, oh, yeah. We don't talk about the Kiss players. No, we do not. <laughs> Mike, would you like to see what Japan did to Transformers? Uh, sure. Hold on. Isn't, didn't they make Transformers? No, actually. It's a funny story. While the models for Transformers and the toys were Japanese, actually from two different toy lines, uh, it was brought here, pitched by an actual Holocaust survivor, and turned into a show. Huh. I was thought that whole thing was Japanese. I forced. I thought you have watched Beast Wars 2. You kept fucking referencing it before. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a picture. You can all fucking Google this shit. So I want to show you Japan. Okay. This is a real thing. This is an official thing. Uh, Porsche, can you find me the Starscream thing? You know what I'm talking about? Is that the guy from Full Metal Alchemist or is that a chick? That's a chick. 
This had a lot of girls in underwear. What the what the fuck, man? Forrest, can you find me the Starscream thing from Kiss what? Players? Why? Why is Optimus Prime? No, no, no. You need to out? see worse. Is he in a thong too? No, I won't find Starscream. Please, please, Forrest, please find it for me. You're so much better at finding this creepy shit than I am. It, I I don't know if he should take that as a compliment or not. <laughs> He's the reason I fucking know this exists. And the worst part is, if you actually try to find the figures for this, they are so stupidly fucking rare that you're paying, I think at this point, thousands of dollars for these things. What the hell is going on in this? I'm sure you can find it just by looking at, fine, fuck you, I'll find it myself. Nope. What the fuck is going on with this? It, this is, would you believe are... me if I told you Starscream's a dirty fucking pervert? Yes, I would believe you. This is, um... This is not, um, this is not fan art. What I'm about to send you, this is real. Jesus Christ, what- oh. I'm trying to find the reasoning for it, but I think she, if I remember, she's like possessed by Starscream or something. Or Starscream goes into her underwear or something. No, I literally can't put this on Twitch for you guys to see. You can Google this Okay! Yourself. That's weird. That's very weird. These were called kiss players. They kissed the Transformers. And it was very weirdly pervy. That That is strange. This is why we don't let Japan go near Transformers anymore. Wait, Galvatron was this, this thing? Stop trying oh to Oh my have god, sex he was. And he just, oh, he rips people apart. God damn. Stop trying to have sex with Transformers, please. Okay? It's a robot. Never. Never. Oh, you it's mean girls. Robot. Wait, no. N Shut up. Not a sex robot, just a robot. Star okay, okay, my friend explains it. Starscream possesses her while she's in the to in the toilet and doesn't understand pulling up panties. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> yep. Gotta at least be drafty. <laughs> <laughs> this was a thing, and again, you can't find the toys because they're apparently stupid fucking rare and expensive. Because I did look once a couple years ago when I saw the prices and Fett said, fuck that. Because the actual toys are really nice looking. Like, the little models and stuff look really nice. And then you just remember they're Japanese, so this shit's gonna get perverted. Seriously, yeah. if you guys want to look this up, look up Transformers Kiss Players. That is the actual name of it. It was a manga and a toy line, as far as I know. And I think they had uh, audio tapes, too. But again, some of it I can't show, but it was fucking weird as hell. And also just fucking Optimus getting that blonde booty. Optimus Prime. Oh, God, this was an actual picture from it? No. Hold on, what? Forrest, I'm going to show this to you. This can't be real. This can't be official. Okay, let me, let me. That can't be, that's got to be fucking from a Dao Jinji. That can't be real. Ah, uh, what the fuck, people? No. I'm looking at the actual toy. Here's a toy box. From it, so this is real, Former which makes me think this might actually fucking be a real picture, because that's what the toy box looks. Hold on, I'll show you guys the toy box, so you guys get uh, kind of an idea. Yeah, no, she has a vagina monster. <laughs> oh, this is an official toy. Let that sit. That, in. that, that, ha that is. Never have I been ooh. more happy not to be able to read. But the scars it, remain. No, there are people. There are English translations for this shit. This is like a real. Piss it looks like a piss demon is trying to come out of her vagina. Like I what think the fuck it's is a, going it's on? It's a thing from G one, I believe. I can't remember what they're fucking called. I I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to uh, know. Why it looks even worse when match. you when you realize what Ravage looks like. He's doing. Ravage, no white girls, dogs. Uh, oh, no. Ravage, stop. No. Bad dog. Hold on, I'll show it to you guys. No. It's safe. I thought he was like a, a mountain lion or something. Ravage is a, is, um, a panther. I used okay, to have a, a, a USB thing of him. I like Ravage. Stop with the Transformer. 
What in the name of You're the God. one that first introduced me to this nightmare fuel. Oh, the figures look so much fucking worse, too. I just like that, you know, Optimus gets the blonde. Who's a surfer because we had to go full in on this. This is all so very strange. This, do you see why sometimes we don't let Japan have Transformers anymore? Although we shouldn't I, let Michael Bay have them either or know this exists. Otherwise, we're going to get a worse movie. I think we've let Michael Bay have them for enough time where people aren't going to let him. For a while. I remind you people, he's the producer of movies. Of these movies. That is true. See, this looks fine. This looks semi okay and cute. She's just kissing Optimus and being a good girl. She's being look, she's being be a weird. good little little Christian girl in her Christian manga. And then you look at the rest of the shit and you're like, oh dear God. See, look, you see this page. You see this page and you're like, oh, this looks cute. Look, look, she's trying to make him better. He gets possessed. That's so sweet. That's so cute. And then you see the other pictures from this series and you're just like, um, was someone horny for the Transformers? Yes. Yes, because this is a weird plot point that doesn't need to exist about women making out with the Transformers to give them powers. Oh, this something. is where the white, um... Oh, this is where Glit comes from! I said Glit, by the way. <laughs> G-I-L-I-T. Um, I didn't know that's where that fucking thing... The, it's basically a white, good version of, uh, Ravage. I didn't know that's where hmm. he comes from. Hmm. Here, I'll show you. I know he was an internet meme. I didn't know that's he comes from this shit. Memeage. Oh. Isn't he cute? I like that. I like Ravage, but um yeah, no, now you all know about this. I've ruined your fucking lives. You're all gonna go do some research and I'm not gonna get blamed. The unholy It got an anime. The only It got an anime. Did it ever get dubbed? In English. Hold on. No, I I fucking don't think it did. Holy shit, there's no way this is an actual anime. It is. Okay. That I didn't know existed. I didn't need to know that existed, honestly. Yeah, right. no. No, I Japan think I does weird things. We go fine. with that. Look, I don't think it's the first time a human's tried to fuck a Transformer. I think that even happened in G1 at one point. It is very possible. Look, all the girls want Optimus is all I'm saying. Well, no, no, all the girls want Starscream. We want the bitch we can control. Yes, exactly. Go over there and do this for me, you tool. <laughs> Basically why all the girls want Starscream. And, you know, we could change Megatron. We could make him good. We can work on him. We can at least make him shoot things we don't like. I want to turn him back into a gun, though. Hell yeah. I miss Gun Megatron. He killed us so many people in the Transformers movie. Further down the rabbit hole we go. Goodbye, sleep. <laughs> I wasn't like I needed it anyway. I just educated you guys. If you really want fucking nightmare fuel, what's it called? Headmasters? Boys. Oh, that's Headmasters. Shit. No, 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 no. Ed Mass, he's gonna get. I'm gonna see that thing start light up with him typing in about ten seconds. Ed Masters, Ed Masters, he hates that show. Please God, no. <laughs> Who was worse, that or Armada? I didn't. I, I, I. You mean the Armada series? Yeah. Or, uh, so I know that one in Ed Masters of the two that, and it clicked. I just saw the I'm. <laughs> On. Yes, I'll, I'll put that on the screen. Oh no, you fucking pervert. That's from G1. No, no. <laughs> Squeal like a piggy. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Don't pull my pants hold on, now. Hold on, I need to find the no, video. No, stop. I need to find the video. Is that a spark plug? Uh, do I still have it on my thing? Do Don't I still have spike. this fucking video? Yes, I do. Don't so do you guys ever want to see when I when I make things and I'm really fucking tired and I make really stupid shit? I'm going to send this to you and I'll tell you when to click it. Oh, God.
I made this video and I cannot explain to you why. In colors and all, I did this myself. I okay. don't remember why I did this. Okay, I have it up. Okay, uh, let the commercial play and then I'll tell you to quickly start. Okay. Oh, fuck, the commercial's gonna restart because I'm an idiot. Nobody wants BJ's. Earn your degree online. With no! The only programs. time I wish Apply I didn't was a Purdue University it. Global. <laughs> Okay, go. What the? <laughs> I don't know why I made this. Why are they all? Are they all killing each other? Like, what's happening? They couldn't kill each other in the episode because they were covered in some magic fucking metal. <laughs> but I got really fucking weird with this. I don't know why I did it. I literally don't remember right. why I made this. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, now we got color changes. <laughs> it's literally just a scene for two minutes and thirty seconds. This is on the main channel, you fuckers can look this up, this is real. Oh <laughs> my god. Like, oh, why did I make this? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I don't remember why I made this thing. That's what that made me think of. <laughs> I don't know why I let it go for two minutes either. Uh. <laughs> but everyone's into it. I make stupid shit sometimes when I'm left alone. <laughs> God. <laughs> Probably something I made like fucking years ago too. I need to go see when did I upload this on the channel. Holy shenanigans. When did I fucking upload this thing? 2019, it's gotta be older than that. 39 comments, it's gonna get a lot more when you people get a hold of it. Oh boy. When the acid oh, hits man. just right. It's still going. <laughs> I told you. I don't know why I made it that long. My god. What were you on when you made this? We want you to share it with everyone. I, do, I literally couldn't tell you why I made this. I need more of what I, <laughs> I'm on because of this. <laughs> Choke it if you got it. Yeah, no, I don't remember why I made this. This was fucking stupid, beyond stupid. But you all just watched the whole thing, you're welcome. Yeah! <laughs> and that's what we end on. I hope you guys liked your little rave. If you guys enjoyed this podcast thing, we'll do it more. But I'm gonna go pass out. We're gonna be back for another 